Let's take a moment to quiet ourselves before we surrender our worries. Close your eyes and take a few deep breaths, feeling your body relax from head to toe. Imagine tension melting away with each exhale. Now, focus on your natural breath. There's no need to force it, just let it flow freely. As you breathe, feel yourself becoming centered and present. With each inhale, breathe in God's peace and presence. With each exhale, release any anxieties that may be weighing on you. Now, nestled in God's love, let's begin our prayer together. Titus 3 verse 13 Dear best to speed Zenas the lawyer and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing. Ezekiel 33 verse 11 Say to them, As I live, declares the Lord God, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Turn back, turn back from your evil ways, for why will you die, O house of Israel? Exodus 24 verse 12 The Lord said to Moses, Come up to me on the mountain and wait there, that I may give you the tablets of stone, with the law and the commandment, which I have written for their instruction. Galatians 5 verse 14 For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Acts 10 verse 43 To him all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him receives forgiveness of sins through his name. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19. There are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies and one who sows discord among brothers. Deuteronomy 11 verses 26 to 28 See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse, the blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. But turn aside from the way that I am commanding you today to go after other gods that you have not known. Deuteronomy 11 verses 18 to 23 You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house, and when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give them, as long as the heavens are above the earth. For if you will be careful to do all this commandment that I command you to do, loving the Lord your God, walking in all his ways, and holding fast to him, Deuteronomy 10 verses 12 to 13 And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, 
to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord, which I am commanding you today for your good. Deuteronomy 10 verses 1 to 5 At that time the Lord said to me, Cut for yourself two tablets of stone like the first, and come up to me on the mountain and make an ark of wood. And I will write on the tablets the words that were on the first tablets that you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. So I made an ark of acacia wood and cut two tablets of stone like the first and went up the mountain with the two tablets in my hand. And he wrote on the tablets in the same writing as before, the Ten Commandments that the Lord had spoken to you on the mountain out of the midst of the fire on the day of the assembly. And the Lord gave them to me. Then I turned and came down from the mountain and put the tablets in the ark that I had made. And there they are, as the Lord commanded me. Deuteronomy 6 verse 9 you shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Deuteronomy 6 verse 7 You shall teach them diligently to your children, and shall talk of them when you sit in your house, and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. Deuteronomy 6 verse 5 you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Deuteronomy 6 verses 2 to 3 That you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's son, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you all the days of your life, and that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and be careful to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you, in a land flowing with milk and honey. Deuteronomy 6 verses 1 to 9 now this is the commandment, the statutes, and the rules that the Lord your God commanded me to teach you, that you may do them in the land to which you are going over, to possess it, that you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's son, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you, all the days of your life, and that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and be careful to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you, in a land flowing with milk and honey. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your might. Deuteronomy 4 verse 40 Therefore you shall keep his statutes and his commandments, which I command you today, that it may go well with you and with your children after you and that you may prolong your days in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. Numbers 12, 6 And he said, Hear my words. If there is a prophet among you, I the Lord make myself known to him in a vision. I speak with him in a dream. Leviticus 22 verse 31 So you shall keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. 
Leviticus 5 verse 17. If anyone sins, doing any of the things that by the Lord's commandments ought not to be done, though he did not know it, then realizes his guilt, he shall bear his iniquity. Exodus 34 verse 28 So he was there with the Lord forty days and forty nights. He neither ate bread nor drank water, and he wrote on the tablets the words of the covenant, the Ten Commandments. Exodus 20 verse 6 But showing steadfast love to thousands of those who love me and keep my commandments. Exodus 16 verse 28 And the Lord said to Moses, How long will you refuse to keep my commandments and my laws? Exodus 15 verse 26 saying if you will diligently listen to the voice of the Lord your God and do that which is right in his eyes and give ear to his commandments and keep all his statutes I will put none of the diseases on you that I put on the Egyptians for I am the Lord your healer Exodus 13 verse 16 It shall be as a mark on your hand or frontlets between your eyes, for by a strong hand the Lord brought us out of Egypt. Genesis 26 verse 5 Because Abraham obeyed my voice and kept my charge, my commandments, my statutes, and my laws. Genesis 9 verse 6 Whoever sheds the blood of man, by man shall his blood be shed, for God made man in his own image. Revelation 21 verse 8 But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Hebrews 9 verse 14 How much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal Spirit offered himself without blemish to God, Purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God. Ephesians 1 verse 13 In him you also, when you heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, and believed in him, were sealed with the promised Holy Spirit. Matthew 5 verses 17 to 22 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore, whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. Matthew 5 verse 17 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. 
I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has passed away. Behold, the new has come. Romans 16 verse 1 I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church at Sencrii. Romans 13 verses 8 to 10 Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9. Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. Luke 11 verses 45 to 52. One of the lawyers answered him, Teacher, in saying these things you insult us also. And he said, Woe to you lawyers also, for you load people with burdens hard to bear, and you yourselves do not touch the burdens with one of your fingers. Woe to you! For you build the tombs of the prophets whom your fathers killed. So you are witnesses, and you consent to the deeds of your fathers, for they killed them, and you build their tombs. Therefore also the wisdom of God said, I will send them prophets and apostles, some of whom they will kill and persecute. Isaiah 59 verse 4 no one enters suit justly. No one goes to law honestly. They rely on empty pleas. They speak lies. They conceive mischief and give birth to iniquity. John 8 verse 32 And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Luke 10 verses 25 to 37 And behold, a lawyer stood up to put him to the test, saying, Teacher, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, What is written in the law? How do you read it? And he answered, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and with all your strength, and with all your mind, and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, You have answered correctly. Do this, and you will live. But he, desiring to justify himself, said to Jesus, And who is my neighbor? Proverbs 17 verse 15 He who justifies the wicked and he who condemns the righteous are both alike an abomination to the Lord. Exodus 23 verse 6 You shall not pervert the justice due to your poor in his lawsuit. Romans 13 verses 8 to 10 Owe no one anything except to love each other, for the one who loves another has fulfilled the law. For the commandments, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not murder, you shall not steal, you shall not covet, and any other commandment are summed up in this word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. 
Love does no wrong to a neighbor. Therefore, love is the fulfilling of the law. 1 Peter 4 verses 1 to 6 Since therefore Christ suffered in the flesh, arm yourselves with the same way of thinking. For whoever has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, so as to live for the rest of the time in the flesh no longer for human passions, but for the will of God. For the time that is past suffices for doing what the Gentiles want to do, living in sensuality, passions, drunkenness, orgies, drinking parties, and lawless idolatry. With respect to this, they are surprised when you do not join them in the same flood of debauchery, and they malign you. But they will give account to him who is ready to judge the living and the dead. Galatians 5 verse 14 For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Proverbs 14 verse 25 A truthful witness saves lives but one who breathes out lies is deceitful. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. Matthew 7 verse 12 so whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Leviticus 19 verse 15 You shall do no injustice in court. You shall not be partial to the poor or defer to the great, but in righteousness shall you judge your neighbor. Proverbs 24 verse 11 Rescue those who are being taken away to death. Hold back those who are stumbling to the slaughter. Jude 1 verse 16 These are grumblers, malcontents, following their own sinful desires. They are loudmouthed boasters, showing favoritism to gain advantage. Acts 5 verse 34 But a Pharisee in the council named Gamaliel, a teacher of the law held in honor by all the people, stood up and gave orders to put the men outside for a little while. Matthew 22 verse 35 And one of them, a lawyer, asked him a question to test him. Hebrews 7 verse 7 It is beyond dispute that the inferior is blessed by the superior. Exodus 23 verse 3 Nor shall you be partial to a poor man in his lawsuit. Proverbs 6 verses 16 to 19 there are six things that the Lord hates, seven that are an abomination to him, haughty eyes, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, a heart that devises wicked plans, feet that make haste to run to evil, a false witness who breathes out lies, and one who sows discord among brothers. 1 John 5 verse 20 And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding, so that we may know him who is true, and we are in him who is true, in his Son Jesus Christ. He is the true God and eternal life. 
Matthew 5, verse 17. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. Titus 2, verse 13. Waiting for our blessed hope, the appearing of the glory of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ. Colossians 3 verses 9 to 10. Do not lie to one another, seeing that you have put off the old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge after the image of its creator. Luke 6 verse 31. And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Proverbs 18, verse 17. The one who states his case first seems right until the other comes and examines him. Deuteronomy 11, verses 26 to 28. See, I am setting before you today a blessing and a curse. The blessing, if you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, and the curse, if you do not obey the commandments of the Lord your God. But turn aside from the way that I am commanding you today to go after other gods that you have not known. Leviticus 22 verse 31 So you shall keep my commandments and do them. I am the Lord. 1 Timothy 1 verse 9 Understanding this, that the law is not laid down for the just, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and sinners, for the unholy and profane, for those who strike their fathers and mothers, for murderers. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Romans 13 verse 1 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Matthew 25 verse 46 And these will go away into eternal punishment, but the righteous into eternal life. 1 Samuel 2 verse 3 Talk no more so very proudly. Let not arrogance come from your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Deuteronomy 4 verse 40 Therefore you shall keep his statutes and his commandments, which I command you today, that it may go well with you and with your children after you and that you may prolong your days in the land that the Lord your God is giving you for all time. Hebrews 1 verse 8 But of the Son he says, Your throne, O God, is forever and ever. The scepter of uprightness is the scepter of your kingdom. Titus 3 verse 13 
Dear Best to Speed, Zena's the lawyer and Apollos on their way. See that they lack nothing. Romans 9 verse 5 To them belong the patriarchs, and from their race, according to the flesh, is the Christ, who is God over all, blessed forever. Amen. Romans 8 verse 1 There is therefore now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Acts 24 verse 3 In every way and everywhere we accept this with all gratitude. John 14 verse 6 Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Matthew 22 verses 36 to 38 Teacher, which is the great commandment in the law. And he said to him, You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the great and first commandment. Deuteronomy 11 verses 18 to 23 You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and in your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontlets between your eyes. You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house, and when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates, that your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give them, as long as the heavens are above the earth. For if you will be careful to do all this commandment that I command you to do, loving the Lord your God, walking in all his ways, and holding fast to him. Ephesians 6 verse 12 For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God which he obtained with his own blood. Micah 6 verse 8 He has told you, O oh man, what is good and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? Isaiah 1 verse 17 Learn to do good, seek justice, correct oppression, bring justice to the fatherless, plead the widow's cause. Deuteronomy 10 verses 12 to 13 And now, Israel, what does the Lord your God require of you but to fear the Lord your God, to walk in all his ways, to love him, to serve the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul, and to keep the commandments and statutes of the Lord? which I am commanding you today for your good. Deuteronomy 10 verse 8 At that time the Lord set apart the tribe of Levi to carry the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord to stand before the Lord to minister to him and to bless in his name to this day. 
2 Timothy 3 verse 16. All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Mark 12 verses 28 to 34. And one of the scribes came up and heard them disputing with one another, and seeing that he answered them well, asked him, which commandment is the most important of all? Jesus answered, The most important is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, and with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than these. And the scribe said to him, You are right, teacher. You have truly said that he is one, and there is no other besides him. Matthew 5 verses 17 to 22 Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not an iota, not a dot, will pass from the law until all is accomplished. Therefore whoever relaxes one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do the same will be called least in the kingdom of heaven, but whoever does them and teaches them will be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not murder, and whoever murders will be liable to judgment. Isaiah 56 verse 1 Thus says the Lord, Keep justice and do righteousness, for soon my salvation will come and my righteousness be revealed. Deuteronomy 6 verse 7 You shall teach them diligently to your children and shall talk of them when you sit in your house and when you walk by the way, and when you lie down, and when you rise. Deuteronomy 6 verses 2 to 3 That you may fear the Lord your God, you and your son and your son's son, by keeping all his statutes and his commandments, which I command you all the days of your life, and that your days may be long. Hear therefore, O Israel, and be careful to do them, that it may go well with you, and that you may multiply greatly, as the Lord, the God of your fathers, has promised you, in a land flowing with milk and honey. Deuteronomy 4 verse 13 And he declared to you his covenant, which he commanded you to perform, that is, the Ten Commandments, and he wrote them on two tablets of stone. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 12 All things are lawful for me, but not all things are helpful. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be dominated by anything. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. John 10 verse 11 I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
1 John 3, verse 16. By this we know, love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. Romans 5, verse 8. But God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. John 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. John 10, verse 15. Just as the Father knows me, and I know the Father, and I lay down my life for the sheep. Romans 5, verse 7. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. 1 John 2, verse 2. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. Acts 20, verse 28. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. 1 John 4, verse 20. If anyone says, I love God and hates his brother, he is a liar. For he who does not love his brother whom he has seen cannot love God whom he has not seen. Hebrews 11, verse 6. And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. 1 Peter 2, verse 9. But you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for his own possession, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. 1 Timothy 4, verse 14. Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. Ephesians 5 verse 2 And walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a fragrant offering and sacrifice to God. John 13 verse 34 a new commandment I give to you, that you love one another. Just as I have loved you, you also are to love one another. 2 John 1 verses 9 to 11. Everyone who goes on ahead and does not abide in the teaching of Christ does not have God. Whoever abides in the teaching has both the Father and the Son. If anyone comes to you and does not bring this teaching, do not receive him into your house or give him any greeting, for whoever greets him takes part in his wicked works. James 5 verse 20 let him know that whoever brings back a sinner from his wandering will save his soul from death and will cover a multitude of sins. 1 Timothy 2 verse 6 Who gave himself as a ransom for all, which is the testimony given at the proper time. Romans 5 verses 7 to 8 for one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare 
even to die, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Romans 5 verse 6 For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. John 16 verses 1 to 33 I have said all these things to you to keep you from falling away. They will put you out of the synagogues. Indeed, the hour is coming when whoever kills you will think he is offering service to God. And they will do these things because they have not known the Father nor me. But I have said these things to you, that when their hour comes you may remember that I told them to you. I did not say these things to you from the beginning, because I was with you. But now I am going to him who sent me, and none of you asks me, where are you going? John 14 verses 1 to 31 Let not your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house are many rooms. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, that where I am you may be also, and you know the way to where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Philippians 3 verse 2 Look out for the dogs. Look out for the evildoers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Romans 12 verse 1 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. 1 John 5 verse 4 For everyone who has been born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Hebrews 10 verse 25 Not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 15 See that no one repays anyone evil for evil, but always seek to do good to one another and to everyone. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build one another up, just as you are doing. Romans 5 verse 12 Therefore, just as sin came into the world through one man, and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all sinned. John 15 verse 17 These things I command you, so that you will love one another. John 15 verse 14 You are my friends if you do what I command you. John 15 verse 2 Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, 
and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. John 13 verse 2 During supper, when the devil had already put it into the heart of Judas Iscariot, Simon's son, to betray him. John 10 verse 18 No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. This charge I have received from my Father. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Revelation 22 verse 17 The Spirit and the Bride say, Come. And let the one who hears say, Come. And let the one who is thirsty come. Let the one who desires take the water of life without price. Revelation 1 verse 18 And the Living One I died, and behold I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and Hades. 1 John 4 verse 11 Beloved, if God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. 1 Peter 4 verse 12 Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery trial when it comes upon you to test you, as though something strange were happening to you. 1 Timothy 3 verses 8 to 13 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience, and let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanderers, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 13 and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 12 We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Philippians 4 verse 7 And the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Ephesians 4 verse 3 Eager to maintain the unity of the Spirit in the bond of peace. John 15 verse 12 This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. John 15 verse 3 Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. John 13 verse 38 Jesus answered, Will you lay down your life for me? Truly, truly, I say to you, the rooster will not crow till you have denied me three times. 
1 John 4 verse 1. Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 John 2 verse 9. Whoever says he is in the light and hates his brother is still in darkness. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. 1 Timothy 5 verse 22 do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, nor take part in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 1 to 40. Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the Spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets, so that the church may be built up. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 28 And God has appointed in the church first apostles, second prophets, third teachers, then miracles, then gifts of healing, helping, administrating, and various kinds of tongues. Romans 14 verse 5 One person esteems one day as better than another, while another esteems all days alike. Each one should be fully convinced in his own mind. Acts 19 verse 6 And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Acts 6 verse 6 These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. John 15 verse 16 You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. John 15 verses 1 to 27 I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. John 10 verses 17 to 18 For this reason the Father loves me, because I lay down my life that I may take it up again. No one takes it from me, but I lay it down of my own accord. I have authority to lay it down, and I have authority to take it up again. 
This charge I have received from my father. Matthew 18 verses 15 to 18. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Truly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Jeremiah 31 verses 15 to 17. Thus says the Lord, a voice is heard in Rama, lamentation and bitter weeping. Rachel is weeping for her children. She refuses to be comforted for her children because they are no more. Thus says the Lord, keep your voice from weeping and your eyes from tears for there is a reward for your work, declares the Lord, and they shall come back from the land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, declares the Lord, and your children shall come back to their own country. Jeremiah 23 verse 4 I will set shepherds over them who will care for them, and they shall fear no more, nor be dismayed. Neither shall any be missing, declares the Lord. James 1 verses 22 to 25 But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like the man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. Hebrews 10 verses 26 to 31. For if we go on sinning deliberately after receiving the knowledge of the truth, there no longer remains a sacrifice for sins, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a fury of fire that will consume the adversaries. Anyone who has set aside the law of Moses dies without mercy on the evidence of two or three witnesses. How much worse punishment, do you think, will be deserved by the one who has trampled underfoot the Son of God and has profaned the blood of the covenant by which he was sanctified and has outraged the Spirit of grace? For we know him who said, Vengeance is mine, I will repay. And again, the Lord will judge his people. Hebrews 6 verses 4 to 8 For it is impossible, in the case of those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted the heavenly gift, and have shared in the Holy Spirit, and have tasted the goodness of the word of God and the powers of the age to come, and then have fallen away, to restore them again to repentance, since they are crucifying once again the Son of God to their own harm and holding him up to contempt. For land that has drunk the rain that often falls on it, and produces a crop useful to those for whose sake it is cultivated, receives a blessing from God. 
but if it bears thorns and thistles, it is worthless and near to being cursed, and its end is to be burned. 2 Timothy 4 verse 3 For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. 1 Timothy 5 verse 20 As for those who persist in sin, rebuke them in the presence of all, so that the rest may stand in fear. 1 Timothy 5 verse 19 Do not admit a charge against an elder except on the evidence of two or three witnesses. 1 Timothy 4 verse 2 Through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. Galatians 6 verse 10 So then, as we have opportunity, let us do good to everyone, and especially to those who are of the household of faith. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 9 And when I was with you and was in need, I did not burden anyone, for the brothers who came from Macedonia supplied my need. So I refrained and will refrain from burdening you in any way. Acts 13 verses 1 to 3 now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers Barnabas, Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menin a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. Acts 11 verse 26 And when he had found him, he brought him to Antioch. For a whole year they met with the church and taught a great many people. And in Antioch the disciples were first called Christians. Acts 9 verses 20 to 29 And immediately he proclaimed Jesus in the synagogues, saying, He is the Son of God. And all who heard him were amazed and said, Is not this the man who made havoc in Jerusalem of those who called upon this name? And has he not come here for this purpose, to bring them bound before the chief priests? But Saul increased all the more in strength, and confounded the Jews who lived in Damascus by proving that Jesus was the Christ. When many days had passed, the Jews plotted to kill him, but their plot became known to Saul. They were watching the gates day and night in order to kill him. John 15 verse 15 No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends, for all that I have heard from my Father I have made known to you. John 11 verses 1 to 57 Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God 
so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Luke 16 verse 10 One who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much, and one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. Matthew 25 verse 15 To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. Matthew 10 verse 25 It is enough for the disciple to be like his teacher and the servant like his master. If they have called the master of the house Beelzebul, how much more will they malign those of his household? Malachi 3 verse 17 They shall be mine, says the Lord of hosts, in the day when I make up my treasured possession, and I will spare them as a man spares his son who serves him. Micah 3 verse 11 Its heads give judgment for a bride, its priests teach for a price, its prophets practice divination for money, yet they lean on the Lord and say, Is not the Lord in the midst of us? No disaster shall come upon us. Jeremiah 23 verse 2 Therefore thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who care for my people, you have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. Behold, I will attend to you for your evil deeds, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 23 verse 1 Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Isaiah 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. Isaiah 56 verse 10 his watchmen are blind. They are all without knowledge. They are all silent dogs. They cannot bark, dreaming, lying down, loving to slumber. Psalm 145 verse 20 The Lord preserves all who love him, but all the wicked he will destroy. Jude 1 verse 20 But you, beloved, building yourselves up in your most holy faith and praying in the Holy Spirit. 1 John 5 verse 16 If anyone sees his brother committing a sin not leading to death, he shall ask, and God will give him lefito those who commit sins that do not lead to death. There is sin that leads to death. I do not say that one should pray for that. 1 John 3 verse 3 And everyone who thus hopes in him purifies himself as he is pure. 2 Peter 3 verse 8 but do not overlook this one fact, beloved, that with the Lord one day is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day. Hebrews 10 verse 24 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works. 
Titus 3 verse 2 To speak evil of no one, to avoid quarreling, to be gentle, and to show perfect courtesy toward all people. Titus 1 verse 5 This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. 2 Timothy 4 verse 4 And we'll turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. 2 Timothy 1 verse 15 You are aware that all who are in Asia turned away from me, among whom are Phygelus and Hermogenes. 1 Timothy 2 verse 7 For this I was appointed a preacher and an apostle. I am telling the truth. I am not lying a teacher of the Gentiles in faith and truth. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 14 If anyone does not obey what we say in this letter, take note of that person and have nothing to do with him that he may be ashamed. Galatians 6 verse 2 Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Acts 8 verse 17 Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. 1 Timothy 4 verse 14 Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. 1 Timothy 5 verse 22 Do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, nor take part in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 for this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Hebrews 6 verse 1 Therefore let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Acts 13 verse 3 Then after fasting and praying they laid their hands on them and sent them off. Acts 9 verse 12 And he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. Acts 19 verse 6 and when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Acts 9 verses 17 to 19 So Ananias departed and entered the house, and laying his hands on him he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes and he regained his sight. Then he rose and was baptized and taking food, he was strengthened. For some days he was with the disciples at Damascus. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. 1 John 2 verses 1 to 29 
My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him. But whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. 2 Peter 3 verse 16 As he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters, there are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. James 1 verses 1 to 27 James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Hebrews 6 verse 2 And of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. Colossians 1 verses 1 to 29 Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God, and Timothy our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers in Christ at Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you. Since we heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints, because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, of this you have heard before in the word of the truth, the gospel. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the holy scriptures concerning his son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the son of God in power according to the spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. 1 Peter 2 verses 1 to 25 So put away all malice and all deceit and hypocrisy and envy and all slander. Like newborn infants, Long for the pure spiritual milk, that by it you may grow up into salvation, if indeed you have tasted that the Lord is good. As you come to him, a living stone rejected by men, but in the sight of God chosen and precious, you yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house to be a holy priesthood. To offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. 2 Thessalonians 1 verses 1 to 12 Paul, 
Silvanus, and Timothy, to the Church of the Thessalonians in God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. We ought always to give thanks to God for you, brothers, as is right, because your faith is growing abundantly, and the love of every one of you for one another is increasing. Therefore we ourselves boast about you in the churches of God for your steadfastness and faith in all your persecutions and in the afflictions that you are enduring. This is evidence of the righteous judgment of God, that you may be considered worthy of the kingdom of God, for which you are also suffering. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 1 to 16 And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and Him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Romans 8 verse 22 For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. Acts 20 verse 1 After the uproar ceased, Paul sent for the disciples, and after encouraging them, he said farewell and departed for Macedonia. Acts 8 verse 9 But there was a man named Simon, who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed the people of Samaria saying that he himself was somebody great. Acts 2 verses 1 to 47 When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. John 3 verses 1 to 36 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. 1 Chronicles 2 verses 1 to 55 These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, 
Gad and Asher, the sons of Judah, Er, Onan, and Shelah. These three Bathshua the Canaanite bore to him. Now Er, Judah's firstborn, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he put him to death. His daughter-in-law Tamar also bore him Perez and Zerah. Judah had five sons in all, the sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamel. 2 Kings 1 verses 1 to 18 After the death of Ahab, Moab rebelled against Israel. Now Ahaziah fell through the lattice in his upper chamber in Samaria and lay sick. So he sent messengers, telling them, Go, inquire of Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this sickness. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say to them, Is it because there is no god in Israel that you are going to inquire of Baal-zebub, the god of Ekron? Now therefore thus says the Lord, You shall not come down from the bed to which you have gone up, but you shall surely die. So Elijah went. The messengers returned to the king, and he said to them, Why have you returned? 2 Samuel 1 verses 1 to 27 After the death of Saul, when David had returned from striking down the Amalekites, David remained two days in Ziklag. And on the third day, behold, a man came from Saul's camp, with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. And when he came to David, he fell to the ground and paid homage. David said to him, Where do you come from? And he said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. And David said to him, How did it go? Tell me. And he answered, The people fled from the battle, and also many of the people have fallen and are dead. And Saul and his son Jonathan are also dead. Then David said to the young man who told him, how do you know that Saul and his son Jonathan are dead? Ruth 1 verses 1 to 22 In the days when the judges ruled there was a famine in the land, and a man of Bethlehem in Judah went to sojourn in the country of Moab, he and his wife and his two sons. The name of the man was Elimelech, and the name of his wife Naomi, and the names of his two sons were Malan and Chilion. They were Ephrathites from Bethlehem in Judah. They went into the country of Moab and remained there. But Elimelech, the husband of Naomi, died, and she was left with her two sons. These took Moabite wives. The name of the one was Orpah, and the name of the other Ruth. They lived there about ten years, and both Malin and Chilion died, so that the woman was left without her two sons and her husband. Genesis 2 verse 7 Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Acts 19 verse 6 And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Acts 8 verse 17 Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. 1 Timothy 4 verse 14 Do not neglect the gift you have, 
which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. 1 Timothy 5 verse 22 Do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, nor take part in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. Hebrews 6 verse 2 and of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. Acts 13 verse 3 Then after fasting and praying they laid their hands on them and sent them off. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 for this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 Corinthians 2 verses 1 to 16 And I, when I came to you, brothers, did not come proclaiming to you the testimony of God with lofty speech or wisdom. For I decided to know nothing among you except Jesus Christ and him crucified. And I was with you in weakness and in fear and much trembling, and my speech and my message were not in plausible words of wisdom, but in demonstration of the Spirit and of power, so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. Nehemiah 13 verse 21 But I warned them and said to them, Why do you lodge outside the wall? If you do so again, I will lay hands on you. From that time on they did not come on the Sabbath. Acts 2 verses 1 to 47 When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. Matthew 6 verse 33 But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. 1 John 2 verses 1 to 29 My little children, I am writing these things to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ. Christ the righteous. He is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. And by this we know that we have come to know him, if we keep his commandments. Whoever says I know him, but does not keep his commandments is a liar, and the truth is not in him, but whoever keeps his word, in him truly the love of God is perfected. By this we may know that we are in him. Acts 20 verse 1 After the uproar ceased, Paul sent for the disciples, and after encouraging them, he said farewell and departed for Macedonia. 2 Peter 3 verse 16 As he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters. 
There are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction, as they do the other scriptures. Hebrews 6 verse 1 Therefore let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 15 First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. This is good, and it is pleasing in the sight of God our Savior, who desires all people to be saved and to come to the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God, and there is one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. Romans 8 verse 22 For we know that the whole creation has been groaning together in the pains of childbirth until now. Romans 6 verse 23 for the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. Romans 1 verses 1 to 32 Paul, a servant of Christ Jesus, called to be an apostle, set apart for the gospel of God, which he promised beforehand through his prophets in the Holy Scriptures concerning his Son, who was descended from David according to the flesh and was declared to be the Son of God in power according to the Spirit of holiness by his resurrection from the dead, Jesus Christ our Lord through whom we have received grace and apostleship to bring about the obedience of faith for the sake of his name among all the nations. Acts 8 verse 9 But there was a man named Simon, who had previously practiced magic in the city and amazed the people of Samaria, saying that he himself was somebody great. John 15 verse 13 Greater love has no one than this, that someone lay down his life for his friends. John 3 verses 1 to 36 Now there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. This man came to Jesus by night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher come from God, for no one can do these signs that you do unless God is with him. Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. 1 Chronicles 2 verses 1 to 55 These are the sons of Israel, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Dan, Joseph, Benjamin, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. The sons of Judah, Er, Onan, and Shelah. These three Bathshua the Canaanite bore to him. 
Now Er, Judah's firstborn, was evil in the sight of the Lord, and he put him to death. His daughter-in-law Tamar also bore him Perez and Zerah. Judah had five sons in all, the sons of Perez, Hezron, and Hamel. 2 Kings 1 verses 1 to 18 After the death of Ahab, Moab rebelled against Israel. Now Ahaziah fell through the lattice in his upper chamber in Samaria and lay sick. So he sent messengers, telling them, Go, inquire of Baalzebub, the god of Ekron, whether I shall recover from this sickness. But the angel of the Lord said to Elijah the Tishbite, Arise, go up to meet the messengers of the king of Samaria, and say to them, Is it because there is no god in Israel that you are going to inquire of Baalzebub, the god of Ekron? Now therefore thus says the Lord, You shall not come down from the bed to which you have gone up, but you shall surely die. So Elijah went. The messengers returned to the king, and he said to them, Why have you returned? 2 Samuel 1 verses 1 to 27 After the death of Saul, when David had returned from striking down the Amalekites, David remained two days in Ziklag. And on the third day, behold, a man came from Saul's camp, with his clothes torn and dirt on his head. And when he came to David, he fell to the ground and paid homage. David said to him, Where do you come from? And he said to him, I have escaped from the camp of Israel. And David said to him, How did it go? Tell me. And he answered, the people fled from the battle, and also many of the people have fallen and are dead, and Saul and his son Jonathan are also dead. Then David said to the young man who told him, How do you know that Saul and his son Jonathan are dead? 1 Timothy 4 verse 14 Do not neglect the gift you have, which was given you by prophecy when the council of elders laid their hands on you. 1 Timothy 5 verse 22 Do not be hasty in the laying on of hands, nor take part in the sins of others. Keep yourself pure. 2 Timothy 1 verse 6 for this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. Hebrews 6 verse 2 And of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. Acts 19 verse 6 And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Acts 8 verse 17 Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Acts 13 verse 3 Then after fasting and praying they laid their hands on them and sent them off. Luke 4 verse 40 Now when the sun was setting, all those who had any who were sick with various diseases brought them to him, and he laid his hands on every one of them and healed them. Acts 9 verse 17 So Ananias departed and entered the house, and laying his hands on him he said, 
Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. Acts 28 verse 8 It happened that the father of Publius lay sick with fever and dysentery, and Paul visited him and prayed, and putting his hands on him, healed him. Mark 6 verse 5 And he could do no mighty work there, except that he laid his hands on a few sick people and healed them. Deuteronomy 34 verse 9 And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him. So the people of Israel obeyed him and did as the Lord had commanded Moses. Acts 6 verse 6 These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. Genesis 48 verse 14 And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it on the head of Ephraim, who was the younger, and his left hand on the head of Manasseh, crossing his hands, for Manasseh was the firstborn. Exodus 29 verse 10 Then you shall bring the bull before the tent of meeting. Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the bull. Acts 8 verses 14 to 17 Now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for he had not yet fallen on any of them. But they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Numbers 8.10 When you bring the Levites before the Lord, the people of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites. Numbers 27,18-23 So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest, and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. And he shall stand before Eleazar the priest, who shall inquire for him by the judgment of the Urim before the Lord. At his word they shall go out, and at his word they shall come in, both he and all the people of Israel with him, the whole congregation. And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation. Leviticus 4 verse 15 and the elders of the congregation shall lay their hands on the head of the bull before the Lord, and the bull shall be killed before the Lord. Numbers 27, 18 So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Leviticus 1 verse 4 He shall lay his hand on the head of the burnt offering, and it shall be accepted for him to make atonement for him. 
Matthew 19 verses 13 to 15. Then children were brought to him that he might lay his hands on them and pray. The disciples rebuked the people, but Jesus said, Let the little children come to me and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of heaven. And he laid his hands on them and went away. Acts 10 verses 44 to 48 While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. And the believers from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter declared, Can anyone withhold water for baptizing these people who have received the Holy Spirit just as we have? And he commanded them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then they asked him to remain for some days. Luke 13 verse 13 And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and she glorified God. Mark 16 verses 17 to 18 And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons, they will speak in new tongues, they will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, and they will recover. Acts 6 verses 3 to 6 Therefore, brothers, pick up from among you seven men of good repute, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. Acts 9 verse 12 And he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. James 5 verse 14 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Leviticus 24 verse 14 Bring out of the camp the one who cursed, and let all who heard him lay their hands on his head, and let all the congregation stone him. Leviticus 16 verse 21 And Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat, and confess over it all the iniquities of the people of Israel, and all their transgressions, all their sins. And he shall put them on the head of the goat, and send it away into the wilderness by the hand of a man who is in readiness. Hebrews 6 verse 1 Therefore let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God. Mark 16 verse 18 They will pick up serpents with their hands, and if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick, 
and they will recover. Acts 17 verses 10 to 11. The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, and when they arrived they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Exodus 7 verse 4 Pharaoh will not listen to you. Then I will lay my hand on Egypt and bring my hosts, my people the children of Israel, out of the land of Egypt by great acts of judgment. Mark 7 verse 32 And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. Acts 5 verse 12 Now many signs and wonders were regularly done among the people by the hands of the apostles, and they were all together in Solomon's portico. Leviticus 3 verse 2 and he shall lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Aaron's sons the priests shall throw the blood against the sides of the altar. Mark 10 verses 13 to 16. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. But when Jesus saw it, he was indignant and said to them, Let the children come to me. Do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly, I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. 2 Timothy 1 verses 6 to 7 For this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of my hands. For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Genesis 48 verses 12 to 20 then Joseph removed them from his knees, and he bowed himself with his face to the earth. And Joseph took them both, Ephraim in his right hand toward Israel's left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand toward Israel's right hand, and brought them near him. And Israel stretched out his right hand and laid it on the head of Ephraim, who was the younger, and his left hand on the head of Manasseh, crossing his hands, for Manasseh was the firstborn. And he blessed Joseph and said, The God before whom my fathers Abraham and Isaac walked, the God who has been my shepherd all my life long to this day, the angel who has redeemed me from all evil, Bless the boys, and in them let my name be carried on. And the name of my fathers Abraham and Isaac, and let them grow into a multitude in the midst of the earth. Matthew 9 verses 18 to 30 While he was saying these things to them, behold, a ruler came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. And Jesus rose and followed him with his disciples. And behold, a woman who had suffered from a discharge of blood for twelve years came up behind him and touched the fringe of his garment. For she said to herself, if I only touch his garment, 
I will be made well. Jesus turned, and seeing her, he said, Take heart, daughter, your faith has made you well. And instantly the woman was made well. Mark 8 verse 25 Then Jesus laid his hands on his eyes again, and he opened his eyes, his sight was restored, and he saw everything clearly. Acts 2 verses 1 to 47 When the day of Pentecost arrived, they were all together in one place. And suddenly there came from heaven a sound like a mighty rushing wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. And divided tongues as of fire appeared to them and rested on each one of them. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. Now there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews devout men from every nation under heaven. Exodus 29 verse 15 Then you shall take one of the rams, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. Mark 10 verse 16 And he took them in his arms and blessed them, laying his hands on them. Acts 6 verses 5 to 6 And what they said pleased the whole gathering, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands on them. Mark 5 verse 23 And implored him earnestly, saying, My little daughter is at the point of death. Come and lay your hands on her, so that she may be made well and live. Hebrews 6 verses 1 to 2 Therefore let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, and of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. Matthew 9 verse 18 While he was saying these things to them, behold, a ruler came in and knelt before him, saying, My daughter has just died, but come and lay your hand on her, and she will live. Leviticus 3 verse 13 and lay his hand on its head and kill it in front of the tent of meeting, and the sons of Aaron shall throw its blood against the sides of the altar. Leviticus 3 verse 8 Lay his hand on the head of his offering and kill it in front of the tent of meeting, and Aaron's sons shall throw its blood against the sides of the altar. Hebrews 6 verses 1 to 3 Therefore let us leave the elementary doctrine of Christ and go on to maturity, not laying again a foundation of repentance from dead works and of faith toward God, and of instruction about washings, the laying on of hands, the resurrection of the dead, and eternal judgment. And this we will do if God permits. Acts 13 verses 2 to 3 While they were worshiping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, 
Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying they laid their hands on them and sent them off. Matthew 19 verse 15 And he laid his hands on them and went away. James 5 verses 14 to 15 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Numbers 27,16-23 Let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, appoint a man over the congregation who shall go out before them and come in before them, who shall lead them out and bring them in, that the congregation of the Lord may not be as sheep that have no shepherd. So the Lord said to Moses, Take Joshua the son of Nun, a man in whom is the Spirit, and lay your hand on him. Make him stand before Eleazar the priest and all the congregation, and you shall commission him in their sight. You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. Genesis 22 verse 12 He said, Do not lay your hand on the boy or do anything to him, for now I know that you fear God, seeing you have not withheld your son, your only son, from me. Numbers 8 10 10-11 When you bring the Levites before the Lord, the people of Israel shall lay their hands on the Levites, and Aaron shall offer the Levites before the Lord as a wave offering from the people of Israel, that they may do the service of the Lord. Acts 8 verses 14 to 19 now when the apostles at Jerusalem heard that Samaria had received the word of God, they sent to them Peter and John, who came down and prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Spirit, for he had not yet fallen on any of them. But they had only been baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money. Acts 6 verses 1 to 15 Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick up from among you seven men of good repute, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Mark 16 verse 17 And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. 
Numbers 27 colon 23. And he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses. Mark 10 verse 13. And they were bringing children to him that he might touch them, and the disciples rebuked them. Acts 8 verses 17 to 18. Then they laid their hands on them, and they received the Holy Spirit. Now when Simon saw that the Spirit was given through the laying on of the apostles' hands, he offered them money. Luke 18 verses 15 to 17. Now they were bringing even infants to him that he might touch them. And when the disciples saw it, they rebuked them. But Jesus called them to him, saying, Let the children come to me, and do not hinder them, for to such belongs the kingdom of God. Truly I say to you, whoever does not receive the kingdom of God like a child shall not enter it. Luke 13 verses 10 to 13. Now he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. And behold, there was a woman who had had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and she glorified God. Psalm 139 verses 4 to 6. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it all together. You hem me in, behind and before, and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. Deuteronomy 13 verses 6 to 10. If your brother, the son of your mother, or your son, or your daughter, or the wife you embrace, or your friend who is as your own soul entices you secretly, saying, Let us go and serve other gods, which neither you nor your fathers have known. Some of the gods of the peoples who are around you, whether near you or far off from you, from the one end of the earth to the other, you shall not yield to him or listen to him, nor shall your eye pity him, nor shall you spare him, nor shall you conceal him, but you shall kill him. Your hand shall be first against him to put him to death, and afterward the hand of all the people. You shall stone him to death with stones, because he sought to draw you away from the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery. Leviticus 16 verses 21 to 22. And Aaron shall lay both his hands on the head of the live goat, and confess over it all the iniquities of the people of Israel, and all their transgressions, all their sins. And he shall put them on the head of the goat, and send it away into the wilderness by the hand of a man who is in readiness. The goat shall bear all their iniquities on itself to a remote area, and he shall let the goat go free in the wilderness. Leviticus 16 verses 7 to 10. Then he shall take the two goats and set them before the Lord at the entrance of the tent of meeting. And Aaron shall cast lots over the two goats, one lot for the Lord, and the other lot for Azazel. 
And Aaron shall present the goat on which the lot fell for the Lord, and use it as a sin offering. But the goat on which the lot fell for Azazel shall be presented alive before the Lord to make atonement over it, that it may be sent away into the wilderness to Azazel. Exodus 24 verses 9 to 11 Then Moses and Aaron, Nadab and Abihu and seventy of the elders of Israel went up, and they saw the God of Israel. There was under his feet as it were a pavement of sapphire stone, like the very heaven for clearness. And he did not lay his hand on the chief men of the people of Israel. They beheld God, and ate, and drank. Acts 9 verses 17 to 18 So Ananias departed and entered the house. And laying his hands on him, he said, Brother Saul, the Lord Jesus who appeared to you on the road by which you came has sent me so that you may regain your sight and be filled with the Holy Spirit. And immediately something like scales fell from his eyes, and he regained his sight. Then he rose and was baptized. Numbers 27,22-23 And Moses did as the Lord commanded him. He took Joshua and made him stand before Eleazar the priest and the whole congregation. And he laid his hands on him and commissioned him as the Lord directed through Moses. Acts 19 verses 5 to 6. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. And when Paul had laid his hands on them, the Holy Spirit came on them, and they began speaking in tongues and prophesying. Acts 8 verses 1 to 40. And Saul approved of his execution. And there arose on that day a great persecution against the church in Jerusalem. And they were all scattered throughout the regions of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made great lamentation over him. But Saul was ravaging the church and entering house after house, he dragged off men and women and committed them to prison. Now those who were scattered went about preaching the word. Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed to them the Christ. Revelation 1 verse 17 When I saw him, I fell at his feet as though dead. But he laid his right hand on me saying, Fear not, I am the first and the last. Revelation 20 verses 1 to 3 Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit, and shut it and sealed it over him, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer, until the thousand years were ended, after that he must be released for a little while. James 5 verses 1 to 20 Come now, you rich, weep and howl for the miseries that are coming upon you. Your riches have rotted and your garments are moth-eaten. Your gold and silver have corroded, and their corrosion will be evidence against you and will eat your flesh like fire. You have laid up treasure in the last days. Behold, 
the wages of the laborers who mowed your fields, which you kept back by fraud, are crying out against you, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on the earth in luxury and in self-indulgence. You have fattened your hearts in a day of slaughter. Acts 19 verse 2 And he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. John 3 verse 5 Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Genesis 48 verses 1 to 22 After this, Joseph was told, Behold, your father is ill. So he took with him his two sons, Manasseh and Ephraim. And it was told to Jacob, your son Joseph has come to you. Then Israel summoned his strength and sat up in bed. And Jacob said to Joseph, God Almighty appeared to me at Luz in the land of Canaan and blessed me and said to me, Behold, I will make you fruitful and multiply you. And I will make of you a company of peoples and will give this land to your offspring after you for an everlasting possession. And now your two sons, who were born to you in the land of Egypt before I came to you in Egypt, are mine. Ephraim and Manasseh shall be mine, as Reuben and Simeon are. Acts 13 verses 1 to 52 now there were in the church at Antioch prophets and teachers Barnabas, Simeon who was called Niger, Lucius of Cyrene, Menin a lifelong friend of Herod the Tetrarch and Saul. While they were worshipping the Lord and fasting, the Holy Spirit said, Set apart for me Barnabas and Saul for the work to which I have called them. Then after fasting and praying, they laid their hands on them and sent them off. So, being sent out by the Holy Spirit, they went down to Seleucia, and from there they sailed to Cyprus. When they arrived at Salamis, they proclaimed the word of God in the synagogues of the Jews, and they had John to assist them. Acts 19 verses 1 to 41 And it happened that while Apollos was at Corinth, Paul passed through the inland country and came to Ephesus. There he found some disciples. And he said to them, Did you receive the Holy Spirit when you believed? And they said, No, we have not even heard that there is a Holy Spirit. And he said, Into what then were you baptized? They said, Into John's baptism. And Paul said, John baptized with the baptism of repentance, telling the people to believe in the one who is to come after him, that is, Jesus. On hearing this, they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Mark 8 verse 23 And he took the blind man by the hand and led him out of the village. And when he had spit on his eyes and laid his hands on him, he asked him, Do you see anything? Acts 2 verse 4 And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit gave them utterance. John 3 verses 16 to 17 
For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Matthew 9 verse 25 But when the crowd had been put outside, he went in and took her by the hand, and the girl arose. Acts 10 verses 44 to 46 While Peter was still saying these things, the Holy Spirit fell on all who heard the word. And the believers from among the circumcised who had come with Peter were amazed, because the gift of the Holy Spirit was poured out even on the Gentiles. For they were hearing them speaking in tongues and extolling God. Then Peter declared. Matthew 8 verse 2 And behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. Luke 13 verses 11 to 13 And behold, there was a woman who had had a disabling spirit for 18 years. She was bent over and could not fully straighten herself. When Jesus saw her, he called her over and said to her, Woman, you are freed from your disability. And he laid his hands on her, and immediately she was made straight, and she glorified God. Numbers 27, 20 You shall invest him with some of your authority, that all the congregation of the people of Israel may obey. 1 Corinthians 2 verse 12 Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit who is from God, that we might understand the things freely given us by God. Matthew 8 verse 8 but the centurion replied, Lord, I am not worthy to have you come under my roof, but only say the word, and my servant will be healed. James 5 verses 14 to 16 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another, that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person has great power as it is working. Luke 22 verses 50 to 51 And one of them struck the servant of the high priest and cut off his right ear. But Jesus said, No more of this. And he touched his ear and healed him. Acts 9 verse 3 Now as he went on his way, he approached Damascus, and suddenly a light from heaven shone around him. Exodus 29 verse 19 You shall take the other ram, and Aaron and his sons shall lay their hands on the head of the ram. Mark 1 verse 41 Moved with pity, he stretched out his hand and touched him and said to him, I will be clean. 
Mark 7 verses 32 to 33. And they brought to him a man who was deaf and had a speech impediment, and they begged him to lay his hand on him. And taking him aside from the crowd privately, he put his fingers into his ears, and after spitting touched his tongue. Matthew 8 verses 2 to 4 and behold, a leper came to him and knelt before him, saying, Lord, if you will, you can make me clean. And Jesus stretched out his hand and touched him, saying, I will be clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. And Jesus said to him, See that you say nothing to anyone, but go, show yourself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a proof to them. Luke 16 verses 19 to 31. There was a rich man who was clothed in purple and fine linen, and who feasted sumptuously every day. And at his gate was laid a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores, who desired to be fed with what fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, even the dogs came and licked his sores. The poor man died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's side. The rich man also died and was buried, and in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. John 11 verses 38 to 44 Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, by this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you believed you would see the glory of God? So they took away the stone. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you always hear me, but I said this on account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. John 11 verse 1 Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. John 11 verses 1 to 14 Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. John 12 verse 1 Six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. John 11 verse 4 But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Luke 16 verses 1 to 31. He also said to the disciples, 
There was a rich man who had a manager, and charges were brought to him that this man was wasting his possessions. And he called him and said to him, What is this that I hear about you? Turn in the account of your management, for you can no longer be manager. And the manager said to himself, What shall I do, since my master is taking the management away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I have decided what to do, so that when I am removed from management, people may receive me into their houses. So, summoning his master's debtors one by one, he said to the first, How much do you owe my master? Revelation 1 verse 18 And the Living One I died, and behold I am alive forevermore, and I have the keys of death and Hades. John 12 verses 1 to 50 Six days before the Passover, Jesus therefore came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at table. Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. But Judas Iscariot, one of his disciples, he who was about to betray him, said, Why was this ointment not sold for three hundred denarii and given to the poor? Luke 10 verses 31 to 42 Now as they went on their way, Jesus entered a village. And a woman named Martha welcomed him into her house. And she had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet and listened to his teaching. But Martha was distracted with much serving. And she went up to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me to serve alone? Tell her then to help me. But the Lord answered her, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and troubled about many things, but one thing is necessary. Mary has chosen the good portion, which will not be taken away from her. John 11 verses 1 to 57. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. John 12 verse 10 So the chief priests made plans to put Lazarus to death as well. Daniel 12 verse 2 and many of those who sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 5 For the living know that they will die, but the dead know nothing, and they have no more reward, for the memory of them is forgotten. John 12 verse 17 
The crowd that had been with him when he called Lazarus out of the tomb and raised him from the dead continued to bear witness. John 11 verses 1 to 44. Now a certain man was ill, Lazarus of Bethany, the village of Mary and her sister Martha. It was Mary who anointed the Lord with ointment and wiped his feet with her hair, whose brother Lazarus was ill. So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. But when Jesus heard it, he said, This illness does not lead to death. It is for the glory of God, so that the Son of God may be glorified through it. Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Luke 16 verse 20 And at his gate was laid a poor man named Lazarus, covered with sores. John 11 verse 3 So the sisters sent to him, saying, Lord, he whom you love is ill. Revelation 20 verse 14 Then death and Hades were thrown into the lake of fire. This is the second death, the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verse 4 Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. Luke 16 verse 24 And he called out, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus to dip the end of his finger in water and cool my tongue, for I am in anguish in this flame. Romans 6 verse 23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus our Lord. John 11 verse 5 Now Jesus loved Martha and her sister and Lazarus. Luke 16 verse 23 And in Hades, being in torment, he lifted up his eyes and saw Abraham far off and Lazarus at his side. Revelation 21 verse 8 But as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. Revelation 20 verse 6 Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ and they will reign with him for a thousand years. Revelation 20 verse 5 The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 16 for the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. 
1 Corinthians 15 verse 22. For as in Adam all die, so also in Christ shall all be made alive. John 12 verse 2. So they gave a dinner for him there. Martha served, and Lazarus was one of those reclining with him at table. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 1 to 58. Now I would remind you, brothers, of the gospel I preached to you, which you received, in which you stand, and by which you are being saved. If you hold fast to the word I preached to you unless you believed in vain. For I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas, then to the twelve. John 11 verse 9 Jesus answered, Are there not twelve hours in the day? If anyone walks in the day, he does not stumble, because he sees the light of this world. John 12 verse 9 When the large crowd of the Jews learned that Jesus was there, they came not only on account of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. John 11 verse 25 Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. Whoever believes in me, though he die, yet shall he live. John 10 verses 1 to 42. Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Revelation 20 verses 1 to 15 Then I saw an angel coming down from heaven, holding in his hand the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain. And he seized the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years, and threw him into the pit, and shut it and sealed it over him so that he might not deceive the nations any longer, until the thousand years were ended, after that he must be released for a little while. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image, and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Mark 14 verse 3 and while he was at Bethany in the house of Simon the leper, as he was reclining at table, a woman came with an alabaster flask of ointment of pure nard, very costly, and she broke the flask and poured it over his head. 
Matthew 21 verse 17. And leaving them, he went out of the city to Bethany and lodged there. Revelation 13 verses 1 to 18. And I saw a beast rising out of the sea, with ten horns and seven heads, with ten diadems on its horns and blasphemous names on its heads. And the beast that I saw was like a leopard, its feet were like a bear's, and its mouth was like a lion's mouth. And to it the dragon gave his power and his throne and great authority. One of its heads seemed to have a mortal wound, but its mortal wound was healed, and the whole earth marveled as they followed the beast. And they worshipped the dragon, for he had given his authority to the beast, and they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is like the beast? and who can fight against it? And the beast was given a mouth uttering haughty and blasphemous words, and it was allowed to exercise authority for forty-two months. John 11 verse 11 After saying these things, he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to awaken him. John 5 verse 28 Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice. Hebrews 11 verse 13 These all died in faith, not having received the things promised, but having seen them and greeted them from afar, and having acknowledged that they were strangers and exiles on the earth. Luke 3 verse 8 Bear fruits in keeping with repentance. And do not begin to say to yourselves, We have Abraham as our father. For I tell you, God is able from these stones to raise up children for Abraham. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 7 And the dust returns to the earth as it was, and the Spirit returns to God who gave it. Revelation 21 verse 3 And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them, and they will be his people, and God himself will be with them as their God. Revelation 6 verses 9 to 11 When he opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of those who had been slain for the word of God and for the witness they had borne. They cried out with a loud voice, O Sovereign Lord! holy and true, how long before you will judge and avenge our blood on those who dwell on the earth? Then they were each given a white robe and told to rest a little longer, until the number of their fellow servants and their brothers should be complete, who were to be killed as they themselves had been. 1 Peter 4 verse 18 And if the righteous is scarcely saved, what will become of the ungodly and the sinner? John 11 verse 33 When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who had come with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in his spirit and greatly troubled. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. Genesis 2 verse 7 
Then the Lord God formed the man of dust from the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and the man became a living creature. Revelation 20 verse 12 And I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne, and books were opened. Then another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged by what was written in the books, according to what they had done. Revelation 20 verse 11 then I saw a great white throne and him who was seated on it. From his presence earth and sky fled away, and no place was found for them. Revelation 20 verse 7 And when the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison. Revelation 20 verse 2 And he sees the dragon, that ancient serpent, who is the devil and Satan, and bound him for a thousand years. Revelation 11 verse 7 And when they have finished their testimony, the beast that rises from the bottomless pit will make war on them and conquer them and kill them. Jude 1 verse 7 Just as Sodom and Gomorrah and the surrounding cities, which likewise indulged in sexual immorality and pursued unnatural desire, serve as an example by undergoing a punishment of eternal fire. 1 John 1 verse 9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. 2 Peter 3 verses 10 to 12 but the day of the Lord will come like a thief, and then the heavens will pass away with a roar, and the heavenly bodies will be burned up and dissolved, and the earth and the works that are done on it will be exposed. Since all these things are thus to be dissolved, what sort of people ought you to be in lives of holiness and godliness? waiting for and hastening the coming of the day of God, because of which the heavens will be set on fire and dissolved, and the heavenly bodies will melt as they burn. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 17 Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. John 11 verse 35 Jesus wept. John 11 verse 6 So, when he heard that Lazarus was ill, he stayed two days longer in the place where he was. John 5 verses 28 to 29 Do not marvel at this, for an hour is coming when all who are in the tombs will hear his voice and come out, those who have done good to the resurrection of life, and those who have done evil to the resurrection of judgment. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Psalm 6 verse 5 For in death there is no remembrance of you, 
In Sheol who will give you praise? Revelation 22 verse 12 Behold, I am coming soon, bringing my recompense with me, to repay each one for what he has done. Revelation 21 verse 2 And I saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. Revelation 20 verse 15 And if anyone's name was not found written in the book of life, he was thrown into the lake of fire. Revelation 20 verse 3 and threw him into the pit, and shut it, and sealed it over him, so that he might not deceive the nations any longer, until the thousand years were ended, after that he must be released for a little while. Revelation 14 verse 10 He also will drink the wine of God's wrath, poured full strength into the cup of his anger, and he will be tormented with fire and sulfur in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Revelation 11 verse 2 But do not measure the court outside the temple, leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for 42 months. 1 Timothy 6 verse 16 Who alone has immortality, who dwells in unapproachable light, whom no one has ever seen or can see. To him be honor and eternal dominion. Amen. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 6 That no one transgress and wrong his brother in this matter, because the Lord is an avenger in all these things, as we told you beforehand and solemnly warned you. 1 Thessalonians 4 verse 3 For this is the will of God, your sanctification, that you abstain from sexual immorality. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 4 That he was buried, that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 3 for I delivered to you as of first importance what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures. John 12 verse 3 Mary therefore took a pound of expensive ointment made from pure nard, and anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the perfume. Revelation 22 verses 3 to 4 No longer will there be anything accursed, but the throne of God and of the Lamb will be in it, and his servants will worship him. They will see his face, and his name will be on their foreheads. Revelation 20 verses 7 to 10 And when the thousand years are ended, Satan will be released from his prison and will come out to deceive the nations that are at the four corners of the earth, Gog and Magog, to gather them for battle. Their number is like the sand of the sea. And they marched up over the broad plain of the earth and surrounded the camp of the saints and the beloved city. But fire came down from heaven and consumed them. And the devil who had deceived them was thrown into the lake of fire and sulfur where the beast 
and the false prophet were, and they will be tormented day and night forever and ever. Revelation 17 verse 8 The beast that you saw was, and is not, and is about to rise from the bottomless pit and go to destruction. And the dwellers on earth whose names have not been written in the book of life from the foundation of the world will marvel to see the beast, because it was and is not and is to come. Revelation 14 verse 12 Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. Revelation 14 verse 2 And I heard a voice from heaven like the roar of many waters and like the sound of loud thunder. The voice I heard was like the sound of harpists playing on their harps. Revelation 13 verse 8 And all who dwell on earth will worship it, Everyone whose name has not been written before the foundation of the world in the book of life of the Lamb who is slain. Revelation 12 verse 3 And another sign appeared in heaven. Behold, a great red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and on his head seven diadems. Revelation 12 verses 1 to 17 And a great sign appeared in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, and on her head a crown of twelve stars. She was pregnant and was crying out in birth pains and the agony of giving birth. And another sign appeared in heaven, behold, a great red dragon, with seven heads and ten horns, and on his head seven diadems. His tail swept down a third of the stars of heaven and cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman who was about to give birth, so that when she bore her child he might devour it. She gave birth to a male child, one who is to rule all the nations with a rod of iron, but her child was caught up to God and to his throne. Revelation 11 verse 15 Then the seventh angel blew his trumpet, and there were loud voices in heaven, saying, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ, and he shall reign forever and ever. Revelation 11 verses 1 to 19 Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred and sixty days, clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. Revelation 9 verse 5 they were allowed to torment them for five months, but not to kill them, and their torment was like the torment of a scorpion when it stings someone. Revelation 5 verse 10 
And you have made them a kingdom and priests to our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Revelation 5 verse 2 And I saw a mighty angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the scroll and break its seals? Revelation 3 verse 21 The one who conquers, I will grant him to sit with me on my throne, as I also conquered and sat down with my father on his throne. Revelation 3 verse 2 Wake up and strengthen what remains and is about to die, for I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 52 In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound, and the dead will be raised imperishable, and we shall be changed. Romans 8 verse 29 for those whom he foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed to the image of his Son, in order that he might be the firstborn among many brothers. John 11 verse 44 The man who had died came out, his hands and feet bound with linen strips, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him, and let him go. John 20 verse 7 And the face cloth, which had been on Jesus' head, not lying with the linen cloths, but folded up in a place by itself. John 19 verse 40 so they took the body of Jesus and bound it in linen cloths with the spices, as is the burial custom of the Jews. John 11 verse 42 I knew that you always hear me, but I said this on account of the people standing around, that they may believe that you sent me. John 11 verse 21 Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. John 11 verse 38 Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave and a stone lay against it. John 12 verse 30 Jesus answered, This voice has come for your sake, not mine. Proverbs 13 verse 4 The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. Proverbs 10 verse 4 A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Proverbs 18 verse 9 Whoever is slack in his work is a brother to him who destroys. 
Proverbs 21 verse 25 The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. Proverbs 24 verses 30 to 34 I passed by the field of a sluggard, by the vineyard of a man lacking sense, and behold, it was all overgrown with thorns, the ground was covered with nettles, and its stone wall was broken down. Then I saw and considered it, I looked and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Proverbs 20 verse 4 The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. Proverbs 19 verse 15 Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep and an idle person will suffer hunger. Proverbs 20 verse 13 Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. Proverbs 12 verse 24 The hand of the diligent will rule, while the slothful will be put to forced labor. Proverbs 14 verse 23 In all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. John 5 verse 17 But Jesus answered them, My Father is working until now, and I am working. Proverbs 6 verse 6 Go to the ant. O sluggard, consider her ways and be wise. James 4 verse 17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Proverbs 26 verses 13 to 16 The sluggard says, there is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. James 1 verse 22 But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 11 to 12 For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. Hebrews 13 verse 16 Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. Genesis 2 verse 15 The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. Romans 12 verse 11 Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. 
Proverbs 10 verse 5 He who gathers in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps in harvest is a son who brings shame. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Proverbs 12 verse 27 Whoever is slothful will not roast his game, but the diligent man will get precious wealth. 1 Corinthians 9 verses 24 to 27 Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? So run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath, but we an imperishable. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others I myself should be disqualified. Hebrews 6 verse 12 So that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Ephesians 4 verse 28 Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in need. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 18 Through sloth the roof sinks in, and through indolence the house leaks. Luke 16 verse 10 one who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much, and one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. Hebrews 12 verse 11 For the moment all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Matthew 25 verses 26 to 30 But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant! You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. For to everyone who has will more be given, and he will have an abundance. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. And cast the worthless servant into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Proverbs 15 verse 19 The way of the sluggard is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. James 2 verse 18 But someone will say, You have faith and I have works. 
Show me your faith apart from your works, and I will show you my faith by my works. Proverbs 10 verse 26 Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to those who send him. Proverbs 10 verses 4 to 5 a slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps in harvest is a son who brings shame. Proverbs 6 verses 6 to 11 Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Without having any chief, officer, or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Proverbs 12 verse 11 Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. Proverbs 19 verse 24 The sluggard buries his hand in the dish and will not even bring it back to his mouth. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 17 Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Proverbs 22 verse 13 The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I shall be killed in the street. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. James 1 verses 23 to 25 For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. For he looks at himself and goes away and at once forgets what he was like. But the one who looks into the perfect law, the law of liberty, and perseveres, being no hearer who forgets, but a doer who acts, he will be blessed in his doing. John 9 verse 4 We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. Proverbs 22 verse 29 Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Proverbs 21 verse 5 The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. Matthew 7 verses 21 to 23 Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven but the one who does the will of my Father who is in heaven. On that day many will say to me, Lord, Lord, 
Did we not prophesy in your name and cast out demons in your name and do many mighty works in your name? And then will I declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you workers of lawlessness. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Proverbs 26 verse 13 The sluggard says, There is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. James 1 verse 23 For if anyone is a hearer of the word and not a doer, he is like a man who looks intently at his natural face in a mirror. Proverbs 26 verse 15 The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. Proverbs 26 verse 16 The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Colossians 3 verse 24 Knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Jeremiah 48 verse 10 Cursed is he who does the work of the Lord with slackness, and cursed is he who keeps back his sword from bloodshed. Matthew 25 verses 24 to 30 He also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant! You knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, Help the weak, be patient with them all. Exodus 5 verse 17 But he said, You are idle, you are idle. That is why you say, Let us go and sacrifice to the Lord. Ephesians 5 verse 16 making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Hebrews 6 verses 10 to 12 For God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints, as you still do. And we desire each one of you to show this same earnestness to have the full assurance of hope until the end so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Revelation 14 verse 12 Here is a call for the endurance of the saints, those who keep the commandments of God and their faith in Jesus. Titus verse 5 to be self-controlled pure working at home kind and submissive to their own husbands that the word of God may not be reviled 
1 Thessalonians 4 verses 10 to 12. For that indeed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more and to aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we instructed you so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. Proverbs 21 verse 17 Whoever loves pleasure will be a poor man. He who loves wine and oil will not be rich. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 6 Now we command you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you keep away from any brother who is walking in idleness and not in accord with the tradition that you received from us. Psalm 90 verse 12 So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. Revelation 1 verse 1 the revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 20 For I fear that perhaps when I come I may find you not as I wish and that you may find me not as you wish, that perhaps there may be quarreling, jealousy, anger, hostility, slander, gossip, conceit, and disorder. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 7 Do not be idolaters as some of them were, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. Jeremiah 15 verse 16 Your words were found, and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. 2 Peter 3 verses 15 to 16 And count the patience of our Lord as salvation, just as our beloved brother Paul also wrote to you according to the wisdom given him, as he does in all his letters when he speaks in them of these matters. There are some things in them that are hard to understand, which the ignorant and unstable twist to their own destruction as they do the other scriptures. Proverbs 1 verses 1 to 33 The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to understand words of insight, to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, justice, and equity, to give prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the youth, let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. John 7 verse 17 If anyone's will is to do God's will, he will know whether the teaching is from God or whether I am speaking on my own authority. Isaiah 1 verses 19 to 20 If you are willing and obedient, you shall eat the good of the land. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be eaten by the sword. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Proverbs 6 verses 10 to 11 A little sleep a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. 
Galatians 5, verse 13. For you are called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. Isaiah 32, verses 9 to 20. Rise up, you women who are at ease, hear my voice. You complacent daughters, give ear to my speech. In little more than a year you will shudder, you complacent women. For the grape harvest fails, the fruit harvest will not come. Tremble, you women who are at ease, shudder, you complacent ones. Strip and make yourselves bare and tie sackcloth around your waist. Beat your breasts for the pleasant fields, for the fruitful vine, for the soil of my people growing up in thorns and briars. Yes, for all the joyous houses in the exultant city. Proverbs 24 verses 33 to 34. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Matthew 25 verse 26 But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant! You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scattered no seed? Proverbs 26 verses 14 to 16. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13 And we also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you believers. Proverbs 6 verses 9 to 11. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16. Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise, but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Proverbs 27 verse 23 Know well the condition of your flocks and give attention to your herds. Ezra 10 verse 4 Arise, for it is your task, and we are with you. Be strong and do it. Psalm 132 verses 4 to 5 I will not give sleep to my eyes or slumber to my eyelids until I find a place for the Lord, a dwelling place for the mighty one of Jacob. 1 Timothy 3 verse 5 For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 2 Corinthians 9 verse 6 The point is this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, 
and whoever sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 8 Nor did we eat anyone's bread without paying for it, but with toil and labor we worked night and day, that we might not be a burden to any of you. Hebrews 12 verse 12 Therefore lift your drooping hands and strengthen your weak knees. Acts 2 verses 45 to 47 And they were selling their possessions and belongings and distributing the proceeds to all as any had need. And day by day, attending the temple together and breaking bread in their homes, they received their food with glad and generous hearts, praising God and having favor with all the people. And the Lord added to their number day by day those who were being saved. Habakkuk 3 verse 2 O oh Lord, I have heard the report of you and your work. O oh Lord, do I fear. In the midst of the years, revive it. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. Proverbs 31 verses 10 to 31. An excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. The heart of her husband trusts in her, and he will have no lack of gain. She does him good and not harm all the days of her life. She seeks wool and flax and works with willing hands. She is like the ships of the merchant. She brings her food from afar. Proverbs 25 verse 14 Like clouds and wind without rain is a man who boasts of a gift he does not give. Colossians 4 verse 5 Walk in wisdom toward outsiders, making the best use of the time. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. Proverbs 10 verse 4 A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. Proverbs 13 verse 4 The soul of the sluggard craves and gets nothing, while the soul of the diligent is richly supplied. Proverbs 6 verses 9 to 11 How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Proverbs 19 verse 24 The sluggard buries his hand in the dish and will not even bring it back to his mouth. 
Proverbs 20 verse 4 The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. Proverbs 12 verse 24 The hand of the diligent will rule, while the slothful will be put to forced labor. Proverbs 6 verse 6 Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Proverbs 28 verse 19 Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits will have plenty of poverty. Psalm 50 verse 17 For you hate discipline, and you cast my words behind you. Proverbs 14 verse 23 in all toil there is profit, but mere talk tends only to poverty. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30 For it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. Proverbs 10 verse 5 He who gathers in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps in harvest is a son who brings shame. Proverbs 13 verse 1 A wise son hears his father's instruction, but a scoffer does not listen to rebuke. Proverbs 18 verse 9 Whoever is slack in his work is a brother to him who destroys. Proverbs 19 verse 15 Slothfulness casts into a deep sleep, and an idle person will suffer hunger. Proverbs 10 verse 26 Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to those who send him. Proverbs 15 verse 19 The way of the sluggard is like a hedge of thorns, but the path of the upright is a level highway. James 4 verse 14 Yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Proverbs 21 verse 25 The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. Proverbs 12 verse 27 Whoever is slothful will not roast his game but the diligent man will get precious wealth. Proverbs 20 verse 13 Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. Luke 19 verses 12 to 27 He said, therefore, 
A nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and then return. Calling ten of his servants, he gave them ten minas and said to them, Engage in business until I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a delegation after him, saying, We do not want this man to reign over us. When he returned, having received the kingdom, he ordered these servants to whom he had given the money to be called to him, that he might know what they had gained by doing business. The first came before him, saying, Lord, your mina has made ten minas more. Proverbs 6 verses 6 to 11 Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Without having any chief, officer, or ruler, she prepares her bread in summer and gathers her food in harvest. How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest. Proverbs 24 verses 30 to 34 I passed by the field of a sluggard, by the vineyard of a man lacking sense, and behold, it was all overgrown with thorns, the ground was covered with nettles, and its stone wall was broken down. Then I saw and considered it. I looked and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest, and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Proverbs 22 verse 13 the sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I shall be killed in the streets. Proverbs 10 verses 4 to 5 A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. He who gathers in summer is a prudent son, but he who sleeps in harvest is a son who brings shame. Ecclesiastes 10 verse 18 Through sloth the roof sinks in, and through indolence the house leaks. Hebrews 6 verse 12 So that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. 2 Timothy 4 verses 2 to 4 Preach the word. Be ready in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with complete patience and teaching. For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions and will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 11 When I was a child, I spoke like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. Proverbs 26 verse 13 The sluggard says, There is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. Proverbs 26 verses 13 to 16.
team. The sluggard says, there is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. James 4 verse 17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 11 to 12 and to aspire to live quietly, and to mind your own affairs, and to work with your hands, as we instructed you, so that you may walk properly before outsiders, and be dependent on no one. Ephesians 4 verse 28 Let the thief no longer steal, but rather let him labor, doing honest work with his own hands, so that he may have something to share with anyone in me. Romans 12 verse 11 Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Matthew 25 verse 26 but his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scattered no seed? Proverbs 26 verse 16 The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Proverbs 13 verse 3 Whoever guards his mouth preserves his life. He who opens wide his lips comes to ruin. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. Proverbs 21 verse 5 The plans of the diligent lead surely to abundance, but everyone who is hasty comes only to poverty. Proverbs 30 verse 8 Remove far from me falsehood and lying. Give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with the food that is needful for me. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 10 to 12 For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busybodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. John 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Proverbs 24 verses 1 to 34 Be not envious of evil men, nor desire to be with them, for their hearts devise violence, and their lips talk of trouble. By wisdom a house is built, and by understanding it is established. 
by knowledge the rooms are filled with all precious and pleasant riches. A wise man is full of strength, and a man of knowledge enhances his might. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men. 1 Peter 1 verse 13 Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Proverbs 21 verses 25 to 26 The desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. All day long he craves and craves, but the righteous gives and does not hold back. Matthew 25 verses 24 to 30 he also who had received the one talent came forward, saying, Master, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow, and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid, and I went and hid your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant. You knew that I reap where I have not sown and gather where I scattered no seed? Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with interest. So take the talent from him and give it to him who has the ten talents. Matthew 24 verse 21 for then there will be great tribulation, such as has not been from the beginning of the world until now, no, and never will be. Revelation 3 verse 16 So, because you are lukewarm, and neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. Hebrews 13 verse 16 Do not neglect to do good and to share what you have, for such sacrifices are pleasing to God. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 11 For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busybodies. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 6 Now we command you, brothers, in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you keep away from any brother who is walking in idleness and not in accord with the tradition that you received from us. Acts 17 verse 11 Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica, they received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. John 5 verse 17 But Jesus answered them, My Father is working until now, and I am working. John 3 verses 16 to 17 for God so loved the world, that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Proverbs 1 verses 1 to 33 the Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel, to know wisdom and instruction, to understand words of insight, to receive instruction in wise dealing, in righteousness, 
justice and equity, to give prudence to the simple, knowledge and discretion to the youth, let the wise hear and increase in learning, and the one who understands obtain guidance. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 17 Look carefully then how you walk, not as unwise but as wise, making the best use of the time, because the days are evil. Therefore do not be foolish, but understand what the will of the Lord is. Proverbs 12 verse 11 Whoever works his land will have plenty of bread, but he who follows worthless pursuits lacks sense. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. John 9 verse 4 We must work the works of him who sent me while it is day. Night is coming when no one can work. Luke 9 verses 59 to 62 To another he said, Follow me. But he said, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Leave the dead to bury their own dead. But as for you, Go and proclaim the kingdom of God. Yet another said, I will follow you, Lord, but let me first say farewell to those at my home. Jesus said to him, No one who puts his hand to the plow and looks back is fit for the kingdom of God. John 3, 1-16 colon 33 now there was a man of the pharisees named nicodemus a ruler of the jews this man came to jesus by night and said to him rabbi we know that you are a teacher come from god for no one can do these signs that you do unless god is with him jesus answered him truly truly i say to you Unless one is born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter a second time into his mother's womb and be born? Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. Matthew 24 verses 1 to 51 Jesus left the temple and was going away when his disciples came to point out to him the buildings of the temple. But he answered them, You see all these, do you not? Truly, I say to you, there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. As he sat on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately, saying, Tell us, when will these things be, and what will be the sign of your coming and of the end of the age? And Jesus answered them, See that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name, saying, I am the Christ, and they will lead many astray. James 2 verses 15 to 16 
If a brother or sister is poorly clothed and lacking in daily food, and one of you says to them, Go in peace, be warmed and filled, without giving them the things needed for the body, what good is that? 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 11 to 12 For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Ezekiel 16 verse 49 Behold, this was the guilt of your sister Sodom. She and her daughters had pride, excessive food, and prosperous ease, but did not aid the poor and needy. Hebrews 6 verses 11 to 12 And we desire each one of you to show this same earnestness to have the full assurance of hope until the end so that you may not be sluggish, but imitators of those who through faith and patience inherit the promises. Proverbs 28 verses 1 to 28. The wicked flee when no one pursues, but the righteous are bold as a lion. When a land transgresses, it has many rulers, but with a man of understanding and knowledge, its stability will long continue. A poor man who oppresses the poor is a beating rain that leaves no food. Those who forsake the law praise the wicked, but those who keep the law strive against them. Evil men do not understand justice, but those who seek the Lord understand it completely. Proverbs 26, verse 15. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. Genesis 4, verses 1 to 16. Now Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived and bore Cain, saying, I have gotten a man with the help of the Lord. And again, she bore his brother Abel. Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain a worker of the ground. In the course of time Cain brought to the Lord an offering of the fruit of the ground, and Abel also brought of the firstborn of his flock and of their fat portions. And the Lord had regard for Abel and his offering, but for Cain and his offering he had no regard. So Cain was very angry, and his face fell. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 1 to 18 Finally, brothers, pray for us that the word of the Lord may speed ahead and be honored, as happened among you, and that we may be delivered from wicked and evil men. For not all have faith, but the Lord is faithful. He will establish you and guard you against the evil one. And we have confidence in the Lord about you, that you are doing and will do the things that we command. May the Lord direct your hearts to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. 
2 Corinthians 12 verse 20 For I fear that perhaps when I come I may find you not as I wish, and that you may find me not as you wish, that perhaps there may be quarreling, jealousy, anger, hostility, slander, gossip, conceit, and disorder. Romans 7 verses 20 to 21 Now if I do what I do not want, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells within me. So I find it to be a law that when I want to do right, evil lies close at hand. Luke 16 verse 10 One who is faithful in a very little is also faithful in much. And one who is dishonest in a very little is also dishonest in much. Proverbs 27 verse 1 Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring. Proverbs 22 verse 14 The mouth of forbidden women is a deep pit, he with whom the Lord is angry will fall into it. James 1 verse 22 But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Acts 17 verses 10 to 11 The brothers immediately sent Paul and Silas away by night to Berea, and when they arrived they went into the Jewish synagogue. Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. Matthew 24 verses 48 to 51 but if that wicked servant says to himself, My master is delayed, and begins to beat his fellow servants, and eats and drinks with drunkards, the master of that servant will come on a day when he does not expect him, and at an hour he does not know, and will cut him in pieces, and put him with the hypocrites. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Ecclesiastes 11 verse 4 He who observes the wind will not sow, and he who regards the clouds will not reap. Proverbs 15 verse 9 The way of the wicked is an abomination to the Lord, but he loves him who pursues righteousness. Proverbs 12 verse 25 Anxiety in a man's heart weighs him down, but a good word makes him glad. Proverbs 3 verse 28 Do not say to your neighbor, Go and come again. Tomorrow I will give it when you have it with you. Revelation 3 verse 17 For you say, I am rich, I have prospered, and I need nothing, not realizing that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 2 For you yourselves are fully aware that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. Proverbs 31 verse 27 She looks well to the ways of her household and does not eat the bread of idleness. Psalm 119 verses 1 to 176 Blessed are those whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are those who keep his testimonies, who seek him with their whole heart, who also do no wrong, but walk in his ways. 
You have commanded your precepts to be kept diligently. Oh, that my ways may be steadfast in keeping your statutes. Genesis 2 verse 15 The Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to work it and keep it. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Revelation 1 verses 1 to 20 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John, who bore witness to the word of God and to the testimony of Jesus Christ, even to all that he saw. Blessed is the one who reads aloud the words of this prophecy, and blessed are those who hear and who keep what is written in it, for the time is near. John to the seven churches that are in Asia, Grace to you and peace from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits who are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of kings on earth, to him who loves us and has freed us from our sins by his blood. Proverbs 6 verse 9 How long will you lie there, O sluggard? When will you arise from your sleep? 1 Timothy 5 verse 8 But if anyone does not provide for his relatives, and especially for members of his household, he has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. James 1 verse 22 But be doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving yourselves. Colossians 3 verse 23 Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men. Proverbs 22 verse 13 The sluggard says, There is a lion outside. I shall be killed in the streets. Proverbs 10 verse 4 A slack hand causes poverty, but the hand of the diligent makes rich. 2 Thessalonians 3 verses 11 to 12 For we hear that some among you walk in idleness, not busy at work, but busy bodies. Now such persons we command and encourage in the Lord Jesus Christ to do their work quietly and to earn their own living. Proverbs 21 verse 25 the desire of the sluggard kills him, for his hands refuse to labor. Proverbs 6 verse 6 Go to the ant, O sluggard, consider her ways, and be wise. Proverbs 24 verses 30 to 34 I passed by the field of a sluggard, by the vineyard of a man lacking sense, and behold, it was all overgrown with thorns, the ground was covered with nettles, and its stone wall was broken down. Then I saw and considered it, I looked and received instruction. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands to rest and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Proverbs 20 verse 13 
Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes, and you will have plenty of bread. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Proverbs 20, verse 4. The sluggard does not plow in the autumn. He will seek at harvest and have nothing. 2 Timothy 3, verse 17. That the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Proverbs 26, verses 13 to 16. The sluggard says, There is a lion in the road. There is a lion in the streets. As a door turns on its hinges, so does a sluggard on his bed. The sluggard buries his hand in the dish. It wears him out to bring it back to his mouth. The sluggard is wiser in his own eyes than seven men who can answer sensibly. Proverbs 12 verse 27 Whoever is slothful will not roast his game, but the diligent man will get precious wealth. Colossians 3 verses 22 to 25 Bond servants, obey in everything those who are your earthly masters, not by way of eye service as people pleasers, but with sincerity of heart, fearing the Lord. Whatever you do, work heartily, as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ. For the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. John 15 verse 7 If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. James 4 verse 17 so whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. 2 Timothy 2 verse 6 It is the hard-working farmer who ought to have the first share of the crops. Proverbs 10 verse 26 Like vinegar to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, so is the sluggard to those who send him. Psalm 1 verse 2 But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and on his law he meditates day and night. Matthew 25 verses 14 to 30 For it will be like a man going on a journey, who called his servants and entrusted to them his property. To one he gave five talents, to another two, to another one, to each according to his ability. Then he went away. He who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. But he who had received the one talent went and dug in the ground and hid his master's money. 2 Timothy 3 verse 16 All scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. 
Jeremiah 15 verse 16. Your words were found, and I ate them, and your words became to me a joy and the delight of my heart. For I am called by your name, O Lord, God of hosts. Ezra 10 verse 4. Arise, for it is your task, and we are with you. Be strong and do it. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Numbers 2.17 Then the tent of meeting shall set out, with the camp of the Levites in the midst of the camps. As they camp, so shall they set out, each in position, standard by standard. 1 John 3 verse 18 Little children, let us not love in word or talk, but in deed and in truth. 1 Peter 3 verses 1 to 22 Likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word by the conduct of their wives when they see your respectful and pure conduct. Do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hoped in God used to adorn themselves, by submitting to their own husbands. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 For even when we were with you, we would give you this command. If anyone is not willing to work, let him not eat. 1 Thessalonians 3 verse 10 As we pray most earnestly night and day that we may see you face to face and supply what is lacking in your faith. Ephesians 3 verse 9 And to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God, who created all things. Ecclesiastes 9 verse 10 Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with your might, for there is no work or thought or knowledge or wisdom in Sheol to which you are going. 1 Peter 1 verse 13 Therefore, preparing your minds for action and being sober-minded, Set your hope fully on the grace that will be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 40 But all things should be done decently and in order. Ecclesiastes 2 verse 10 And whatever my eyes desired I did not keep from them. I kept my heart from no pleasure, for my heart found pleasure in all my toil, and this was my reward for all my toil. Psalm 19 verse 5 Which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man, runs its course with joy. 1 Samuel 2 verse 8 He raises up the poor from the dust. He lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes and inherit a seat of honor. 
For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and on them he has set the world. Exodus 17 verses 9 to 14. So Moses said to Joshua, Choose for us men, and go out and fight with Amalek. Tomorrow I will stand on the top of the hill with the staff of God in my hand. So Joshua did as Moses told him, and fought with Amalek, while Moses, Aaron, and her went up to the top of the hill. Whenever Moses held up his hand, Israel prevailed, and whenever he lowered his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands grew weary, so they took a stone and put it under him, and he sat on it, while Aaron and her held up his hands, one on one side and the other on the other side. So his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. And Joshua overwhelmed Amalek and his people with the sword. John 3 verse 15 That whoever believes in him may have eternal life. Proverbs 6 verse 11 and poverty will come upon you like a robber and want like an armed man. Psalm 121 verses 1 to 8 A Song of Ascents I lift up my eyes to the hills. From where does my help come? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade on your right hand. Psalm 90 verse 12 So teach us to number our days that we may get a heart of wisdom. 2 Kings 7 verse 10 So they came and called to the gatekeepers of the city and told them, We came to the camp of the Syrians, and behold, there was no one to be seen or heard there, nothing but the horses tied and the donkeys tied and the tents as they were. 2 Samuel 17 verse 23 When Ahithophel saw that his counsel was not followed, he saddled his donkey and went off home to his own city. He set his house in order and hanged himself, and he died and was buried in the tomb of his father. 1 Thessalonians 2 verse 13 and we also thank God constantly for this, that when you received the word of God, which you heard from us, you accepted it not as the word of men, but as what it really is, the word of God, which is at work in you believers. Revelation 20 verses four to six. Then I saw thrones, and seated on them were those to whom the authority to judge was committed. Also I saw the souls of those who had been beheaded for the testimony of Jesus and for the word of God, and those who had not worshipped the beast or its image, and had not received its mark on their foreheads or their hands. They came to life and reigned with Christ for a thousand years. The rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. This is the first resurrection. Blessed and holy is the one who shares in the first resurrection. Over such the second death has no power, but they will be priests of God and of Christ, and they will reign with him for a thousand years. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, 
but set the believer as an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. 1 Peter 5 verse 3 Not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. Hebrews 13 verse 7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. 1 Corinthians 11 verse 1 Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. Philippians 4 verse 9 What you have learned and received and heard and seen in the practice these things, and the God of peace will be with you. Titus 1 verse 7 for an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain. 1 Peter 5 verse 2 Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. James 3 verses 1 to 18 Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. For we all stumble in many ways. And if anyone does not stumble in what he says, he is a perfect man, able also to bridle his whole body. If we put bits into the mouths of horses so that they obey us, we guide their whole bodies as well. Look at the ships also, though they are so large and are driven by strong winds, they are guided by a very small rudder wherever the will of the pilot directs. So also the tongue is a small member, yet it boasts of great things. How great a forest is set ablaze by such a small fire! Philippians 3 verse 17 Brothers, join in imitating me, and keep your eyes on those who walk according to the example you have in us. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 5 So I exhort the elders among you as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. 
Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. Even when he is old, he will not depart from it. 1 Samuel 16, verse 7. But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look on his appearance or on the height of his stature, because I have rejected him. For the Lord sees not as man sees. Man looks on the outward appearance, but the Lord looks on the heart. Romans 14 verse 1 As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. Titus 2 verse 7 Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity. Titus 1 verses 5 to 9. This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order, and appoint elders in every town as I directed you if anyone is above reproach the husband of one wife. And his children are believers and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. James 3 verse 1 Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. 1 Peter 2 verse 21 For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you might follow in his steps. 1 Corinthians 4 verses 1 to 2 this is how one should regard us as servants of Christ and stewards of the mysteries of God. Moreover, it is required of stewards that they be found faithful. 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 4 So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Isaiah 61 verse 1 The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me, because the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison to those who are bound. 1 Timothy 5 verse 17 Let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, 
especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. Colossians 2 verse 8 See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. John 15 verse 16 You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you that you should go and bear fruit, and that your fruit should abide, so that whatever you ask the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 16 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Matthew 20 verses 25 to 28 but Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. James 2 verses 12 to 13 So speak and so act as those who are to be judged under the law of liberty. For judgment is without mercy to one who has shown no mercy. Mercy triumphs over judgment. Titus 2 verse 15 Declare these things. Exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no one disregard you. 1 Timothy 3 verse 4 He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. John 3 verse 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. Titus 1 verse 5 This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. 1 Timothy 5 verses 17 to 18 
Let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. For the scripture says, You shall not muzzle an ox when it treads out the grain, and the laborer deserves his wages. 1 Corinthians 13 verse 1 If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. Romans 12 verse 2 Do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. James 4 verse 7 Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. James 2 verses 1 to 13 My brothers, show no partiality as you hold the faith in our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory. For if a man wearing a gold ring and fine clothing comes into your assembly, and a poor man in shabby clothing also comes in. And if you pay attention to the one who wears the fine clothing and say, You sit here in a good place, while you say to the poor man, You stand over there, or sit down at my feet, have you not then made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil thoughts? Listen. My beloved brothers, has not God chosen those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom, which he has promised to those who love him? Titus 2 verses 1 to 10 But as for you, teach what accords with sound doctrine. Older men are to be sober-minded, dignified, self-controlled, sound in faith, in love, and in steadfastness. Older women likewise are to be reverent in behavior, not slanderers or slaves to much wine. They are to teach what is good, and so train the young women to love their husbands and children, to be self-controlled, pure, working at home, kind, and submissive to their own husbands, that the word of God may not be reviled. John 15 verses 1 to 27 I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit by itself, unless it abides in the vine, neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit, for apart from me you can do nothing. John 10 verses 1 to 42 Truly, truly, I say to you, he who does not enter the sheepfold by the door, but climbs in by another way, that man is a thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the gatekeeper opens. The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. When he has brought out all his own, 
he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but they will flee from him, for they do not know the voice of strangers. Mark 10 verse 45 For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 7 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Ephesians 4 verse 11 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers, Romans 2 verses 21 to 24 You then who teach others, do you not teach yourself? While you preach against stealing, do you steal? You who say that one must not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who abhor idols, do you rob temples? You who boast in the law dishonor God by breaking the law. For as it is written, the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you. John 10 verse 11 I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 1 Peter 5 verse 1 So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed. 1 Peter 3 verse 15 But in your hearts honor Christ the Lord as holy, always being prepared to make a defense to anyone who asks you for a reason for the hope that is in you. Yet do it with gentleness and respect. Galatians 6 verse 1 Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things there is no law. Romans 12 verses 3 to 8 for by the grace given to me I say to everyone among you not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think with sober judgment, each according to the measure of faith that God has assigned. For as in one body we have many members, and the members do not all have the same function, so we, though many, are one body in Christ, and individually members one of another. Having gifts that differ according to the grace given to us, let us use them. If prophecy, in proportion to our faith, if service, in our serving, the one who teaches, in his teaching. 
1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 14. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. 1 Peter 3 verses 1 to 7 Likewise, wives, be subject to your own husbands, so that even if some do not obey the word, they may be won without a word by the conduct of their wives, when they see your respectful and pure conduct. Do not let your adorning be external the braiding of hair and the putting on of gold jewelry, or the clothing you wear, but let your adorning be the hidden person of the heart with the imperishable beauty of a gentle and quiet spirit, which in God's sight is very precious. For this is how the holy women who hoped in God used to adorn themselves, by submitting to their own husbands. Romans 14 verses 1 to 4 As for the one who is weak in faith, welcome him, but not to quarrel over opinions. One person believes he may eat anything, while the weak person eats only vegetables. Let not the one who eats despise the one who abstains, and let not the one who abstains pass judgment on the one who eats. For God has welcomed him. Who are you to pass judgment on the servant of another? It is before his own master that he stands or falls, and he will be upheld, for the Lord is able to make him stand. John 3 verse 30 He must increase, but I must decrease. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world but in order that the world might be saved through him. Isaiah 1 verses 1 to 31 The vision of Isaiah the son of Amoz, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem in the days of Isaiah, Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, kings of Judah. Hear, O heavens, and give ear, O earth, for the Lord has spoken. Children have I reared and brought up but they have rebelled against me. The ox knows its owner, and the donkey its master's crib, but Israel does not know. My people do not understand. Ah, sinful nation, a people laden with iniquity, offspring of evildoers, children who deal corruptly. They have forsaken the Lord, they have despised the Holy One of Israel. They are utterly estranged. Why will you still be struck down? Why will you continue to rebel? The whole head is sick and the whole heart faint. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. 
1 Peter 5 verse 5. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Hebrews 11 verses 8 to 10. By faith Abraham obeyed when he was called to go out to a place that he was to receive as an inheritance. And he went out, not knowing where he was going. By faith he went to live in the land of promise, as in a foreign land, living in tents with Isaac and Jacob, heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city that has foundations, whose designer and builder is God. 2 Thessalonians 3 verse 9 It was not because we do not have that right, but to give you and ourselves an example to imitate. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 12 to 13 we ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. Ephesians 5 verse 21 Submitting to one another out of reverence for Christ. Galatians 6 verse 9 And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. 1 Corinthians 14 verse 33 For God is not a God of confusion, but of peace, as in all the churches of the saints. Acts 14 verse 23 And when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Matthew 20 verse 26 It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. Hebrews 7 verses 1 to 28 For this Melchizedek, king of Salem, priest of the Most High God, met Abraham returning from the slaughter of the kings and blessed him, and to him Abraham apportioned a tenth part of everything. He is first, by translation of his name, king of righteousness, and then he is also king of Salem, that is, king of peace. He is without father or mother or genealogy, having neither beginning of days nor end of life, but resembling the Son of God, he continues a priest forever. See how great this man was to whom Abraham the patriarch gave a tenth of the spoils. And those descendants of Levi who received the priestly office have a commandment in the law to take tithes from the people, that is, from their brothers, though these also are descended from Abraham. Hebrews 2 verses 5 to 18 For it was not to angels that God subjected the world to come, of which we are speaking, it has been testified somewhere, what is man, that you are mindful of him, or the son of man, that you care for him? You made him for a little while lower than the angels. You have crowned him with glory and honor, putting everything in subjection under his feet. Now in putting everything in subjection to him, he left nothing outside his control. At present, we do not yet see everything in subjection to him. 
But we see him who for a little while was made lower than the angels, namely Jesus, crowned with glory and honor because of the suffering of death, so that by the grace of God he might taste death for everyone. 1 Timothy 5 verse 10 And having a reputation for good works, if she has brought up children, has shown hospitality, has washed the feet of the saints, has cared for the afflicted, and has devoted herself to every good work. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 16. The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Philippians 4 verse 19 And my God will supply every need of yours according to his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3 verses 1 to 11. Finally, my brothers, rejoice in the Lord. To write the same things to you is no trouble to me and is safe for you. Look out for the dogs. Look out for the evildoers. Look out for those who mutilate the flesh. For we are the circumcision who worship by the Spirit of God and glory in Christ Jesus and put no confidence in the flesh, though I myself have reason for confidence in the flesh also. If anyone else thinks he has reason for confidence in the flesh, I have more. Circumcised on the eighth day of the people of Israel, of the tribe of Benjamin, a Hebrew of Hebrews, as to the law of Pharisee. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Galatians 6 verses 1 to 5 Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. For if anyone thinks he is something when he is nothing, he deceives himself. But let each one test his own work, and then his reason to boast will be in himself alone and not in his neighbor. For each will have to bear his own load. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 19 Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own. Acts 2 verse 38 And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. John 17 verse 17 Sanctify them in the truth. Your word is truth. John 13 verses 12 to 15 
When he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. Matthew 8 verses 18 to 22. Now when Jesus saw a crowd around him, he gave orders to go over to the other side. And a scribe came up and said to him, Teacher, I will follow you wherever you go. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. Another of the disciples said to him, Lord, let me first go and bury my father. And Jesus said to him, Follow me, and leave the dead to bury their own dead. Psalm 78 verse 72 With upright heart he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. James 1 verses 1 to 18 James, a servant of God and of the Lord Jesus Christ, to the twelve tribes in the dispersion, greetings. Count it all joy, my brothers, when you meet trials of various kinds, for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Hebrews 6 verse 20 Where Jesus has gone as a forerunner on our behalf, having become a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek. 1 Thessalonians 4 verses 9 to 12 now concerning brotherly love, you have no need for anyone to write to you, for yourselves have been taught by God to love one another, for that indeed is what you are doing to all the brothers throughout Macedonia. But we urge you, brothers, to do this more and more and to aspire to live quietly and to mind your own affairs and to work with your hands as we instructed you, so that you may walk properly before outsiders and be dependent on no one. Acts 20 verses 28 to 32. Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God which he obtained with his own blood. I know that after my departure, fierce wolves will come in among you, not sparing the flock, and from among your own selves will arise men speaking twisted things to draw away the disciples after them. Therefore be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease night or day to admonish everyone with tears. And now I commend you to God and to the word of his grace, which is able to build you up and to give you the inheritance among all those who are sanctified. Acts 20 verse 1 After the uproar ceased, Paul sent for the disciples, and after encouraging them, he said farewell and departed for Macedonia. Acts 6 verses 1 to 7. Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, 
A complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick up from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. Matthew 13 verses 1 to 58. That same day Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. And great crowds gathered about him, so that he got into a boat and sat down. And the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell along the path, and the birds came and devoured them. Other seeds fell on rocky ground, where they did not have much soil, and immediately they sprang up, since they had no depth of soil. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. 2 Corinthians 6 verse 16 What agreement has the temple of God with idols? For we are the temple of the living God, as God said, I will make my dwelling among them and walk among them, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So... Whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 3 verses 10 to 15 According to the grace of God given to me, like a skilled master builder I laid a foundation, and someone else is building upon it. Let each one take care how he builds upon it. For no one can lay a foundation other than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Now if anyone builds on the foundation with gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, straw each one's work will become manifest, for the day will disclose it, because it will be revealed by fire and the fire will test what sort of work each one has done. If the work that anyone has built on the foundation survives, he will receive a reward. Romans 12 verse 1 I appeal to you therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship. Romans 8 verse 26 Likewise the Spirit helps us in our weakness, for we do not know what to pray for as we ought, but the Spirit himself intercedes for us with groanings too deep for words. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. 
I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. 1 Peter 2 verse 25 For you are straying like sheep, but have now returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. 1 Peter 2 verses 21 to 24 For to this you have been called, because Christ also suffered for you, leaving you an example, so that you might follow in his steps. He committed no sin, neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to him who judges justly. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree, that we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds you have been healed. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 16 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed rightly handling the word of truth. Acts 5 verse 29 But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. Nehemiah 2 verse 12 Then I arose in the night, I and a few men with me, and I told no one what my God had put into my heart to do for Jerusalem. There was no animal with me but the one on which I rode. 2 Samuel 8 verse 15 So David reigned over all Israel. And David administered justice and equity to all his people. 1 John 4 verse 1 Beloved, do not believe every spirit, but test the spirits to see whether they are from God. For many false prophets have gone out into the world. 1 Peter 2 verse 5 You yourselves like living stones are being built up as a spiritual house, to be a holy priesthood, to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to God through Jesus Christ. James 5 verse 14 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church, and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. 
Hebrews 13 verse 7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Titus 1 verses 5 to 9 This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you if anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife. And his children are believers and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. Philippians 1 verse 1 Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons. 2 Corinthians 11 verse 15 So it is no surprise if his servants also disguise themselves as servants of righteousness. Their end will correspond to their deeds. 2 Corinthians 7 verses 9 to 10 As it is, I rejoice, not because you were grieved, but because you were grieved into repenting. For you felt a godly grief, so that you suffered no loss through us. For godly grief, produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret, whereas worldly grief produces death. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Acts 17 verse 11 Now these Jews were more noble than those in Thessalonica. They received the word with all eagerness, examining the scriptures daily to see if these things were so. John 13 verse 16 Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. Luke 6 verses 12 to 13 In these days he went out to the mountain to pray, and all night he continued in prayer to God. And when day came, he called his disciples and chose from them twelve, whom he named Apostles. Mark 10 verse 45 For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew 20 verses 25 to 28 But Jesus called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew 18 verses 15 to 17 
If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. Matthew 16, verse 18. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 1 Samuel 16, verse 1. The Lord said to Samuel, How long will you grieve over Saul, since I have rejected him from being king over Israel? Fill your horn with oil and go. I will send you to Jesse the Bethlehemite, for I have provided for myself a king among his sons. Numbers 12:3. Now the man Moses was very meek, more than all people who were on the face of the earth. 1 John 2 verse 27 But the anointing that you received from him abides in you, and you have no need that anyone should teach you. But as his anointing teaches you about everything and is true, and is no lie just as it has taught you, abide in him. 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 2 so I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 6 So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another, for God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James 5 verse 15 And the prayer of faith will save the one who is sick, and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. Hebrews 10 verse 25 not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. Titus 2 verse 15 Declare these things, exhort and rebuke with all authority. Let no one disregard you. Titus 1 verse 11 They must be silenced, since they are upsetting whole families by teaching for shameful gain what they ought not to teach. 
Titus 1 verse 9. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. Titus 1 verse 7. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain. Titus 1 verse 7. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain. Titus 1 verses 1 to 16 Paul, a servant of God and an apostle of Jesus Christ, for the sake of the faith of God's elect and their knowledge of the truth, which accords with godliness, in hope of eternal life, which God, who never lies, promised before the ages began and at the proper time manifested in his word through the preaching with which I have been entrusted by the command of God our Savior, to Titus, my true child in a common faith. Grace and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Savior. This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. 1 Timothy 4 verse 1 Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons. 1 Timothy 4 verses 1 to 16. Now the Spirit expressly says that in later times some will depart from the faith by devoting themselves to deceitful spirits and teachings of demons through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared, who forbid marriage and require abstinence from foods that God created to be received with thanksgiving by those who believe and know the truth. For everything created by God is good, and nothing is to be rejected if it is received with thanksgiving, for it is made holy by the word of God and prayer. 1 Timothy 3 verse 10 And let them also be tested first, then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. 1 Timothy 3 verses 8 to 12 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. And let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanderers, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. 1 Timothy 3 verse 2 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 7 The saying is trustworthy, if anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, 
the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 1 Timothy 3 verse 1 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 21 But test everything, hold fast what is good. Philippians 1 verses 15 to 18 Some indeed preach Christ from envy and rivalry, but others from goodwill. The latter do it out of love, knowing that I am put here for the defense of the gospel. The former proclaim Christ out of selfish ambition, not sincerely, but thinking to afflict me in my imprisonment. What then? Only that in every way, whether in pretense or in truth, Christ is proclaimed, and in that I rejoice. Yes! and I will rejoice. Ephesians 4 verse 15 Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 12 To equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ. Ephesians 4 verse 11 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers. Ephesians 2 verse 10 For we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, which God prepared beforehand, that we should walk in them. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 18 All this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 10 For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each one may receive what is due for what he has done in the body, whether good or evil. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 24 Not that we lord it over your faith, but we work with you for your joy. For you stand firm in your faith. 1 Corinthians 14 verses 1 to 40 Pursue love and earnestly desire the spiritual gifts, especially that you may prophesy. For one who speaks in a tongue speaks not to men but to God. For no one understands him, but he utters mysteries in the Spirit. On the other hand, the one who prophesies speaks to people for their upbuilding and encouragement and consolation. The one who speaks in a tongue builds up himself, but the one who prophesies builds up the church. Now I want you all to speak in tongues, but even more to prophesy. The one who prophesies is greater than the one who speaks in tongues, unless someone interprets, so that the church may be built up. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 4 to 7 Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, 
and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord, and there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who empowers them all in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. 1 Corinthians 12 verses 1 to 31 Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. You know that when you were pagans, you were led astray to mute idols, however you were led. Therefore, I want you to understand that no one speaking in the Spirit of God ever says Jesus is accursed. And no one can say Jesus is Lord except in the Holy Spirit. Now there are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit, and there are varieties of service but the same Lord. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 1 Now concerning spiritual gifts, brothers, I do not want you to be uninformed. 1 Corinthians 11 verses 1 to 34 Be imitators of me, as I am of Christ. Now I commend you because you remember me in everything and maintain the traditions even as I delivered them to you. But I want you to understand that the head of every man is Christ, the head of a wife is her husband, and the head of Christ is God. Every man who prays or prophesies with his head covered dishonors his head. But every wife who prays or prophesies with her head uncovered dishonors her head, since it is the same as if her head were shaven. Romans 16 verse 17 I appeal to you, brothers, to watch out for those who cause divisions and create obstacles contrary to the doctrine that you have been taught. Avoid them. Romans 16 verse 1 I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a servant of the church at Sencrii. Romans 13 verse 1 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Acts 21 verse 8 On the next day we departed and came to Caesarea, and we entered the house of Philip the Evangelist, who was one of the seven, and stayed with him. Acts 18 verses 24 to 28 now a Jew named Apollos, a native of Alexandria, came to Ephesus. He was an eloquent man, competent in the scriptures. He had been instructed in the way of the Lord. And being fervent in spirit, he spoke and taught accurately the things concerning Jesus, though he knew only the baptism of John. He began to speak boldly in the synagogue, but when Priscilla and Aquila heard him, they took him aside and explained to him the way of God more accurately. And when he wished to cross to Achaia, the brothers encouraged him and wrote to the disciples to welcome him. When he arrived, he greatly helped those who through grace had believed for he powerfully refuted the Jews in public, showing by the scriptures that the Christ was Jesus. Acts 15 verse 2 And after Paul and Barnabas had no small dissension and debate with them, Paul and Barnabas and some of the others were appointed to go up to Jerusalem to the apostles and the elders about this question. 
Acts 9 verse 12. And he has seen in a vision a man named Ananias come in and lay his hands on him so that he might regain his sight. Acts 6 verse 4. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. Acts 6 verse 3. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. Acts 6 verse 2. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Acts 6 verses 1 to 7 Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews, because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering. And they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. John 20 verse 30 Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. John 19 verse 11 Jesus answered him, You would have no authority over me at all unless it had been given you from above. Therefore he who delivered me over to you has the greater sin. Hebrews 13 verse 7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Luke 22 verse 26 But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as one who serves. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Philippians 2 verse 3 do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Matthew 20 verse 26 It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Galatians 6 verse 9 And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. Mark 10 verses 42 to 45 And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, 
and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God which he obtained with his own blood. Exodus 18 verse 21 Moreover, look for able men from all the people men who fear God, who are trustworthy and hate a bribe, and place such men over the people as chiefs of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. James 3 verse 1 Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. 1 Timothy 5 verse 17 let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. Proverbs 11 verse 14 Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. 1 Timothy 3 verse 2 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. Proverbs 29 verse 2 When the righteous increase, the people rejoice. But when the wicked rule, the people groan. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Psalm 78 verse 72 with upright heart, he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Romans 13 verse 1 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Luke 6 verse 31 And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Do you see a man skillful in his work? 
He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 13 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 7 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? John 13 verses 13 to 17 You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. 1 Peter 5 verse 3 Not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Proverbs 29 verse 14 If a king faithfully judges the poor, his throne will be established forever. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. John 3 verse 30 He must increase, but I must decrease. Matthew 5 verse 37 Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Titus 2 verse 7 Show yourself in all respects to be a model of good works, and in your teaching show integrity, dignity. Philippians 2 verse 4 Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. 
Acts 5 verse 29. But Peter and the apostles answered, We must obey God rather than men. Proverbs 16 verse 12. It is an abomination to kings to do evil, for the throne is established by righteousness. Titus 1 verses 7 to 14. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. For there are many who are insubordinate, empty talkers and deceivers, especially those of the circumcision party. They must be silenced, since they are upsetting whole families by teaching for shameful gain what they ought not to teach. 1 Timothy 4 verse 8 For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Proverbs 27 verses 23 to 24 Know well the condition of your flocks and give attention to your herds, for riches do not last forever. And does a crown endure to all generations? Deuteronomy 1 verse 13 Choose for your tribes wise, understanding, and experienced men, and I will appoint them as your heads. Titus 1 verse 7 for an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain. Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 16 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers, to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Isaiah 3 verse 12 My people and fence are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O oh, my people, your guides mislead you, and they have swallowed up the course of your paths. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will act. Matthew 20 verses 25 to 28 But Jesus called them to Him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 
Proverbs 24 verse 10. If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. 1 Peter 5 verse 2. Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. 1 Timothy 4 verse 2 Through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. 1 Timothy 3 verse 1 The saying is trustworthy, if anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Acts 14 verse 23 and when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. Proverbs 29 verse 12 If a ruler listens to falsehood, all his officials will be wicked. Proverbs 29 verse 4 By justice a king builds up the land, but he who exacts gifts tears it down. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12 For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. Romans 12 verses 9 to 13 Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil. Hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal. Be fervent in spirit. Serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope. Be patient in tribulation. Be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints and seek to show hospitality. Romans 12 verse 8 The one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with seal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. John 13 verses 12 to 15 when he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should do just as I have done to you. John 10 verse 11 I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 
John 3 verses 16 to 17. For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him. Luke 22 verses 24 to 27. A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. And he said to them, the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as one who serves. For who is the greater, one who reclines at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at table? but I am among you as the one who serves. Jeremiah 23 verse 1 Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, and before you were born, I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9. Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. Proverbs 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs 16, verse 9. The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. Proverbs 3, verses 5 to 10. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord, and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, and with the first fruits of all your produce. Deuteronomy 1 verse 15 So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and experienced men, and set them as heads over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officers, throughout your tribes. Matthew 23 verses 1 to 39. Then Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, the scribes and the Pharisees sit on Moses' seat. So do and observe whatever they tell you, but not the works they do. For they preach, but do not practice. They tie up heavy burdens, hard to bear, and lay them on people's shoulders, but they themselves are not willing to move them with their finger. They do all their deeds to be seen by others, for they make their phylacteries broad and their fringes long. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Mark 10 verse 45 For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many.
1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 4. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Philippians 2 verses 3 to 4 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Luke 12 verse 48 But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required, and from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. 1 Timothy 2 verses 1 to 2 First of all, then, I urge that supplications, prayers, intercessions, and thanksgivings be made for all people, for kings and all who are in high positions, that we may lead a peaceful and quiet life, godly and dignified in every way. Romans 13 verses 1 to 7. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Therefore, whoever resists the authorities resists what God has appointed, and those who resist will incur judgment. For rulers are not a terror to good conduct, but to bad. Would you have no fear of the one who is in authority? Then do what is good, and you will receive his approval, for he is God's servant for your good. But if you do wrong, be afraid, for he does not bear the sword in vain. For he is the servant of God, an avenger who carries out God's wrath on the wrongdoer. Therefore one must be in subjection, not only to avoid God's wrath, but also for the sake of conscience. Isaiah 1 verse 23 Your princes are rebels and companions of thieves. Everyone loves a bribe and runs after gifts. They do not bring justice to the fatherless, and the widow's cause does not come to them. 1 Peter 2 verse 17 Honor everyone. Love the brotherhood. Fear God, honor the emperor. 1 Timothy 3 verses 8 to 13. Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. And let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanderers, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. Matthew 24 verses 45 to 47 Who then is the faithful and wise servant, 
whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. 1 Peter 5 verses 2-4 Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Titus 1 verse 6 if anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife, and his children are believers and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. 2 Timothy 2 verse 24 And the Lord's servant must not be quarrelsome, but kind to everyone, able to teach patiently enduring evil. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 1 Timothy 3 verse 5 For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 1 Timothy 3 verses 2 to 3 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 5 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 2 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 And we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 12 to 13 We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 25 Whatever you do, work heartily 
as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the inheritance as your reward. You are serving the Lord Christ, for the wrongdoer will be paid back for the wrong he has done, and there is no partiality. Philippians 2 verses 5 to 8 Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Galatians 6 verse 6 Let the one who is taught the word share all good things with the one who teaches. Matthew 6 verse 21 For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. Ezekiel 34 verses 1 to 8 The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say to them, even to the shepherds, thus says the Lord God, ah, shepherds of Israel who have been feeding yourselves, should not shepherds feed the sheep? You eat the fat, you clothe yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the fat ones, but you do not feed the sheep. The weak you have not strengthened, the sick you have not healed, the injured you have not bound up, the strayed you have not brought back, the lost you have not sought, and with force and harshness you have ruled them. So they were scattered, because there was no shepherd, and they became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered. Ezekiel 3.16-4.17 And at the end of seven days, the word of the Lord came to me. Son of man, I have made you a watchman for the house of Israel. Whenever you hear a word from my mouth, you shall give them warning from me. If I say to the wicked, you shall surely die, and you give him no warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way, in order to save his life, that wicked person shall die for his iniquity, but his blood I will require at your hand. But if you warn the wicked, and he does not turn from his wickedness or from his wicked way. He shall die for his iniquity, but you will have delivered your soul. Again, if a righteous person turns from his righteousness and commits injustice, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because you have not warned him, he shall die for his sin, and his righteous deeds that he has done shall not be remembered, but his blood I will require at your hand. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. Hebrews 13 verse 7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. 
1 Timothy 3 verse 2. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. 1 Timothy 3 verse 1. The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. James 3 verse 1. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. 1 Timothy 5 verse 17 Let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Matthew 20, verse 26. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. Titus 1, verse 7. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Titus 1 verse 6 If anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife and his children are believers, and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. Galatians 6 verse 9 And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. Acts 14 verse 23 and when they had appointed elders for them in every church, with prayer and fasting, they committed them to the Lord in whom they had believed. 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 4. So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed. Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Keep your heart with all vigilance, for from it flow the springs of life. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 7 The saying is trustworthy, if anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, 
respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? John 3 verse 30 He must increase, but I must decrease. Proverbs 11 verse 14 Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed. Rightly handling the word of truth. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. Titus 1 verse 9 he must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. 1 Peter 5 verse 3 Not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. Titus 1 verse 5 This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you. Philippians 2 verse 4 Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 16 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. To mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves, and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to His purpose. Mark 10 verses 42 to 45 And Jesus called them to Him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 12 We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you. Matthew 7 verse 12 
So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the Law and the Prophets. Psalm 78 verse 72 With upright heart he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. Titus 1 verses 5 to 9 This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you if anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife. And his children are believers and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. 1 Timothy 3 verses 8 to 13. Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience, and let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanderers, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Proverbs 22 verse 29 Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Exodus 18 verse 21 Moreover, Look for able men from all the people, men who fear God, who are trustworthy and hate a bribe, and place such men over the people as chiefs of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 12 to 13 We ask you, brothers, to respect those who labor among you and are over you in the Lord and admonish you, and to esteem them very highly in love because of their work. Be at peace among yourselves. Luke 12 verse 48 But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating, will receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required, and from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. 1 Peter 5 verse 2 Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. 
Acts 20 verse 17. Now from Miletus he sent to Ephesus and called the elders of the church to come to him. John 13 verses 13 to 17. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, and before you were born I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Ephesians 4 verse 11 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers. 1 Timothy 3 verse 4 He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. Proverbs 29 verse 2 When the righteous increase, the people rejoice, but when the wicked rule, the people groan. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. Acts 6 verses 1 to 15. Now in these days when the disciples were increasing in number, a complaint by the Hellenists arose against the Hebrews because their widows were being neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the full number of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the Spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the Word. And what they said pleased the whole gathering, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicholas, a proselyte of Antioch. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 16. The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive, for if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Philippians 1 verse 1 Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all the saints in Christ Jesus who are at Philippi, with the overseers and deacons. Luke 6 Verse 31. 
and as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. 1 Peter 5 verse 5 Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Matthew 24 verses 45 to 47 Who then is the faithful and wise servant? whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time. Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 for God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. 1 Timothy 3 verse 12 Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. Hebrews 13 verse 24 Greet all your leaders and all the saints. Those who come from Italy send you greetings. 1 Timothy 4 verse 8 For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. 1 Timothy 3 verse 5 For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 13 And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry for building up the body of Christ until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God, to mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. Matthew 28 verses 18 to 20 And Jesus came and said to them, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Proverbs 16 verse 12 It is an abomination to kings to do evil, for the throne is established by righteousness. Revelation 1 verse 1 The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show to his servants the things that must soon take place. He made it known by sending his angel to his servant John. 1 Timothy 4 verse 16 Keep a close watch on yourself and on the teaching. Persist in this, for by so doing you will save both yourself and your hearers. Matthew 16 verse 18 and I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 2 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. 
Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. Acts 15 verse 22 Then it seemed good to the apostles and the elders, with the whole church, to choose men from among them and send them to Antioch with Paul and Barnabas. They sent Judas called Barzabas and Silas, leading men among the brothers. Acts 6 verse 3 Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. Revelation 11 verses 1 to 19. Then I was given a measuring rod like a staff, and I was told, Rise and measure the temple of God and the altar and those who worship there, but do not measure the court outside the temple. Leave that out, for it is given over to the nations, and they will trample the holy city for forty-two months. And I will grant authority to my two witnesses, and they will prophesy for one thousand two hundred and sixty days clothed in sackcloth. These are the two olive trees and the two lampstands that stand before the Lord of the earth. And if anyone would harm them, fire pours from their mouth and consumes their foes. If anyone would harm them, this is how he is doomed to be killed. 1 Timothy 4 verse 2 through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. 1 Timothy 3 verses 4 to 5 He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? 1 Timothy 3 verse 3 Not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, in word or deed, do everything in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. 1 Peter 5 verse 1 So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed. Matthew 20 verses 25 to 27 But Jesus called them to him and said, you know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. 2 Timothy 3 verses 16 to 17 all scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness, that the man of God may be complete, equipped for every good work. Matthew 5 verse 37 Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Proverbs 27 verses 23 to 24 Know well the condition of your flocks 
and give attention to your herds, for riches do not last forever. And does a crown endure to all generations? Proverbs 24 verse 10 If you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. 1 Timothy 3 verse 8 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. Hebrews 10 verses 24 to 25 And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. 1 Timothy 3 verse 6 he must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil. 1 Timothy 3 verses 2 to 3 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. Matthew 20 verses 25 to 28 But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lorded over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave, even as the Son of Man came not to be served but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. James 4 verse 17 So whoever knows the right thing to do and fails to do it, for him it is sin. Titus 1 verses 7 to 8 For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. Galatians 6 verses 1 to 2 Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too be tempted. Bear one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. Acts 20 verse 31 Therefore be alert, remembering that for three years I did not cease night, or day to admonish everyone with tears. Ezekiel 34 verses 1 to 31 The word of the Lord came to me, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Israel, prophesy and say to them, even to the shepherds, thus says the Lord God, Ah! Shepherds of Israel who have been feeding yourselves. Should not shepherds feed the sheep? You eat the fat, you clothe yourselves with the wool, you slaughter the fat ones, but you do not feed the sheep. The weak you have not strengthened, the sick you have not healed, the injured you have not bound up, the strayed you have not brought back, the lost you have not sought 
and with force and harshness you have ruled them. So they were scattered, because there was no shepherd, and they became food for all the wild beasts. My sheep were scattered. Psalm 23 verses 1 to 6 A Psalm of David The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Luke 22 verse 26 But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest and the leader as one who serves. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. James 5 verse 14 Is anyone among you sick? Let him call for the elders of the church and let them pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. 1 Timothy 5 verse 1 Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him as you would a father, younger men as brothers. 1 Timothy 3 verses 8 to 10 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. And let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Philippians 2 verses 5 to 7 Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. Romans 8 verse 31 What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? Luke 18 verse 27 But he said, What is impossible with man is possible with God. 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, in purity. Philippians 2 verse 3 Do nothing from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility count others more significant than yourselves. Exodus 18 verse 21 Moreover, look for able men from all the people, men who fear God, who are trustworthy and hate a bribe, and place such men over the people as chiefs of thousands, of hundreds, of fifties, and of tens. Matthew 20 verses 25 to 28 But Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. It shall not be so among you, 
But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be your slave. Even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 7 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Romans 12 verses 9 to 13. Let love be genuine. Abhor what is evil, hold fast to what is good. Love one another with brotherly affection. Outdo one another in showing honor. Do not be slothful in zeal, be fervent in spirit, serve the Lord. Rejoice in hope, be patient in tribulation, be constant in prayer. Contribute to the needs of the saints, and seek to show hospitality. Galatians 6 verse 9 And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap, if we do not give up. Proverbs 11 verse 14 Where there is no guidance, a people falls, but in an abundance of counselors there is safety. Matthew 20 verse 26 It shall not be so among you, but whoever would be great among you must be your servant. Jeremiah 23 verse 1 Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, declares the Lord. Hebrews 13 verse 17 Obey your leaders and submit to them, for they are keeping watch over your souls, as those who will have to give an account. Let them do this with joy and not with groaning, for that would be of no advantage to you. Mark 10 verses 42 to 45 And Jesus called them to him and said to them, You know that those who are considered rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones exercise authority over them. But it shall not be so among you. But whoever would be great among you must be your servant, and whoever would be first among you must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. John 13 verses 12 to 15 when he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place, he said to them, Do you understand what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example that you also should. Go just as I have done to you. Luke 22 verses 24 to 27 A dispute also arose among them as to which of them was to be regarded as the greatest. And he said to them, 
the kings of the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and those in authority over them are called benefactors. But not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest, and the leader as one who serves. For who is the greater, one who reclines at table or one who serves? Is it not the one who reclines at table? But I am among you as the one who serves. Philippians 2 verse 4 Let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. 1 Peter 5 verse 3 Not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. Philippians 4 verse 13 I can do all things through him who strengthens me. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Keep your heart with all vigilance for from it flow the springs of life. Psalm 78 verse 72 With upright heart he shepherded them and guided them with his skillful hand. Hebrews 13 verse 7 Remember your leaders, those who spoke to you the word of God. Consider the outcome of their way of life and imitate their faith. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 10 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him and He will make straight your paths. Be not wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of all your produce. Proverbs 29 verse 2 When the righteous increase, the people rejoice, but when the wicked rule, the people groan. 1 Corinthians 12 verse 12 For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. Acts 20 verse 28 Pay careful attention to yourselves and to all the flock, in which the Holy Spirit has made you overseers to care for the church of God, which he obtained with his own blood. 2 Timothy 2 verse 2 And what you have heard from me in the presence of many witnesses entrust to faithful men who will be able to teach others also. Luke 6 verse 31 And as you wish that others would do to you, do so to them. John 3 verse 30 He must increase, but I must decrease. Deuteronomy 1 verse 13 Choose for your tribes wise, understanding, and experienced men, and I will appoint them as your heads. John 10 verse 11 I am the Good Shepherd. The Good Shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly handling the word of truth. Luke 22 verse 26 
but not so with you. Rather, let the greatest among you become as the youngest and the leader as one who serves. Matthew 5 verse 37 Let what you say be simply yes or no. Anything more than this comes from evil. Deuteronomy 1 verse 15 So I took the heads of your tribes, wise and experienced men, and set them as heads over you, commanders of thousands, commanders of hundreds, commanders of fifties, commanders of tens, and officers throughout your tribes. Isaiah 41 verse 10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Proverbs 25 verse 28 a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Matthew 7 verse 12 So whatever you wish that others would do to you, do also to them, for this is the law and the prophets. 1 Timothy 5 verse 17 let the elders who rule well be considered worthy of double honor, especially those who labor in preaching and teaching. 1 Timothy 3 verse 5 For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Proverbs 16 verse 9 The heart of man plans his way, but the Lord establishes his steps. 2 Chronicles 1 verses 10 to 12 Give me now wisdom and knowledge to go out and come in before this people. For who can govern this people of yours, which is so great? God answered Solomon, because this was in your heart, and you have not asked for possessions, wealth, honor, or the life of those who hate you, and have not even asked for long life, but have asked for wisdom and knowledge for yourself that you may govern my people over whom I have made you king, wisdom and knowledge are granted to you. I will also give you riches, possessions and honor such as none of the kings had who were before you and none after you shall have the light. James 3 verse 1 Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers, for you know that we who teach will be judged with greater strictness. 1 Timothy 3 verse 2 Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach. Proverbs 16 verse 12 It is an abomination to kings to do evil, for the throne is established by righteousness. 1 Peter 5 verse 7 Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Luke 12 verse 48 But the one who did not know and did what deserved a beating will receive a light beating. Everyone to whom much was given, of him much will be required. And from him to whom they entrusted much, they will demand the more. John 13 verses 13 to 17 
You call me teacher and lord, and you are right, for so I am. If I then, your lord and teacher, have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have given you an example, that you also should do just as I have done to you. Truly, truly, I say to you, a servant is not greater than his master, nor is a messenger greater than the one who sent him. If you know these things, blessed are you if you do them. Proverbs 29 verse 14 If a king faithfully judges the poor, his throne will be established forever. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him and He will act. 1 Timothy 3 verses 8 to 13 Deacons likewise must be dignified, not double-tongued, not addicted to much wine, not greedy for dishonest gain. They must hold the mystery of the faith with a clear conscience. And let them also be tested first. Then let them serve as deacons if they prove themselves blameless. Their wives likewise must be dignified, not slanderers, but sober-minded, faithful in all things. Let deacons each be the husband of one wife, managing their children and their own households well. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised to those who love him. 1 Peter 5 verse 2 Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly. Mark 10 verse 45 for even the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. James 4 verse 10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will exalt you. James 1 verses 5 to 6 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, and it will be given him. But let him ask in faith, with no doubting, for the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea that is driven and tossed by the wind. Matthew 24 verses 45 to 47 who then is the faithful and wise servant, whom his master has set over his household to give them their food at the proper time? Blessed is that servant whom his master will find so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you, he will set him over all his possessions. Titus 1 verse 7 for an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain. 1 Timothy 4 verse 8 For while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way, as it holds promise for the present life and also for the life to come. Acts 6 verse 3 Therefore, brothers, pick out from among you seven men of good repute, 
full of the spirit and of wisdom, whom we will appoint to this duty. Proverbs 31 verses 8 to 9. Open your mouth for the mute, for the rights of all who are destitute. Open your mouth, judge righteously, defend the rights of the poor and needy. Titus 1 verses 5 to 9. This is why I left you in Crete, so that you might put what remained into order and appoint elders in every town as I directed you if anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife. And his children are believers and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. Proverbs 29 verse 12 If a ruler listens to falsehood, all his officials will be wicked. Isaiah 32 verses 1 to 8 Behold, a king will reign in righteousness, and princes will rule in justice. Each will be like a hiding place from the wind, a shelter from the storm, like streams of water in a dry place, like the shade of a great rock in a weary land. Then the eyes of those who see will not be closed, and the ears of those who hear will give attention. The heart of the hasty will understand and know, and the tongue of the stammerers will hasten to speak distinctly. The fool will no more be called noble, nor the scoundrel said to be honorable. Deuteronomy 1 verses 16 to 17. And I charged your judges at that time, hear the cases between your brothers, and judge righteously between a man and his brother or the alien who is with him. You shall not be partial in judgment. You shall hear the small and the great alike. You shall not be intimidated by anyone, for the judgment is God's. And the case that is too hard for you, you shall bring to me, and I will hear it. Ephesians 4 verses 11 to 16. And he gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the shepherds and teachers to equip the saints for the work of ministry, for building up the body of Christ, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God. To mature manhood, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, so that we may no longer be children, tossed to and fro by the waves, and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by human cunning, by craftiness in deceitful schemes. Rather, speaking the truth in love, we are to grow up in every way into him who is the head, into Christ. 1 Peter 5 verses 2 to 5 Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly, as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. 
Likewise, you who are younger, be subject to the elders. Clothe yourselves, all of you, with humility toward one another. For God opposes the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Deuteronomy 17 verses 16 to 20 Only he must not acquire many horses for himself or cause the people to return to Egypt in order to acquire many horses. Since the Lord has said to you, you shall never return that way again. And he shall not acquire many wives for himself, lest his heart turn away, nor shall he acquire for himself excessive silver and gold. And when he sits on the throne of his kingdom, he shall write for himself in a book a copy of this law, approved by the Levitical priests. And it shall be with him, and he shall read in it all the days of his life, that he may learn to fear the Lord his God by keeping all the words of this law and these statutes, and doing them, that his heart may not be lifted up above his brothers, and that he may not turn aside from the commandment, either to the right hand or to the left, so that he may continue long in his kingdom, he and his children in Israel. Titus 1 verse 6 If anyone is above reproach, the husband of one wife, and his children are believers, and not open to the charge of debauchery or insubordination. 1 Timothy 4 verse 2 through the insincerity of liars whose consciences are seared. John 3 verse 16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. Isaiah 6 verse 8 and I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send, and who will go for us? Then I said, Here I am. Send me. Proverbs 22, verse 29. Do you see a man skillful in his work? He will stand before kings. He will not stand before obscure men. Proverbs 16, verse 18. Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Psalm 23, verses 1 to 6. A Psalm of David. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Titus 1 verses 7 to 14 For an overseer, as God's steward, must be above reproach. He must not be arrogant or quick-tempered or a drunkard or violent or greedy for gain, but hospitable, a lover of good, self-controlled, upright, holy, and disciplined. He must hold firm to the trustworthy word as taught, so that he may be able to give instruction in sound doctrine and also to rebuke those who contradict it. For there are many who are insubordinate, empty talkers and deceivers, 
especially those of the circumcision party. They must be silenced since they are upsetting whole families by teaching for shameful gain what they ought not to teach. 1 Timothy 3 verses 1 to 13 The saying is trustworthy. If anyone aspires to the office of overseer, he desires a noble task. Therefore an overseer must be above reproach, the husband of one wife, sober-minded, self-controlled, respectable, hospitable, able to teach, not a drunkard, not violent, but gentle, not quarrelsome, not a lover of money. He must manage his own household well, with all dignity keeping his children submissive. For if someone does not know how to manage his own household, how will he care for God's church? Romans 12 verse 8 The one who exhorts in his exhortation, the one who contributes in generosity, the one who leads with zeal, the one who does acts of mercy with cheerfulness. Proverbs 16 verse 7 When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 For God gave us a spirit not of fear, but of power and love and self-control. Romans 13 verse 1 Let every person be subject to the governing authorities. For there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. Proverbs 29 verse 4 By justice a king builds up the land, but he who exacts gifts tears it down. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 14 and we urge you, brothers, admonish the idle, encourage the faint-hearted, help the weak, be patient with them all. Philippians 2 verses 5 to 8 Have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but emptied himself by taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. And being found in human form, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that for those who love God all things work together for good, for those who are called according to his purpose. Jeremiah 1 verse 5 Before I formed you in the womb I knew you, and before you were born I consecrated you. I appointed you a prophet to the nations. Isaiah 56 verse 11 The dogs have a mighty appetite, they never have enough. But they are shepherds who have no understanding. They have all turned to their own way, each to his own gain, one and all. Proverbs 27 verses 23 to 24 Know well the condition of your flocks, and give attention to your herds, for riches do not last forever. And does a crown endure to all generations? 1 Peter 5 verses 2 to 4 Shepherd the flock of God that is among you, 
exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. Matthew 20 verses 20 to 28. Then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came up to him with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked him for something. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Say that these two sons of mine are to sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left is not mine to grant but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. And when the ten heard it, they were indignant at the two brothers. 1 Peter 5 verses 1 to 4 So I exhort the elders among you, as a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of Christ, as well as a partaker in the glory that is going to be revealed, shepherd the flock of God that is among you, exercising oversight, not under compulsion, but willingly as God would have you, not for shameful gain, but eagerly, not domineering over those in your charge, but being examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd appears, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. 2 Chronicles 20 verses 1 to 37 After this the Moabites and Ammonites, and with them some of the Munites, came against Jehoshaphat for battle. Some men came and told Jehoshaphat, A great multitude is coming against you from Edom, from beyond the sea. And, behold, they are in Hazazon Tamar, that is, Angedi. Then Jehoshaphat was afraid and set his face to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout all Judah. And Judah assembled to seek help from the Lord. From all the cities of Judah they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the assembly of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court. Jeremiah 33 verse 3 Call to me and I will answer you and will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 12 Therefore let anyone who thinks that he stands take heed lest he fall. Isaiah 33 verses 15 to 16 He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly who despises the gain of oppressions, who shakes his hands, lest they hold a bribe, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed and shuts his eyes from looking on evil, he will dwell on the heights. His place of defense will be the fortresses of rocks. His bread will be given him. His water will be sure. 1 Timothy 3 verse 6 He must not be a recent convert, or he may become puffed up with conceit and fall into the condemnation of the devil. James 1 verse 5 If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask God, who gives generously to all without reproach, 
and it will be given him. James 3 verses 13 to 18 Who is wise and understanding among you? By his good conduct let him show his works in the meekness of wisdom. But if you have bitter jealousy and selfish ambition in your hearts, do not boast and be false to the truth. This is not the wisdom that comes down from above, but is earthly, unspiritual, demonic. For where jealousy and selfish ambition exist, there will be disorder and every vile practice. But the wisdom from above is first pure, then peaceable, gentle, open to reason, full of mercy and good fruits, impartial and sincere. Psalm 46 verse 10 Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. 1 Samuel 16 verse 18 One of the young men answered, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse the Bethlehemite, who is skillful in playing, a man of valor, a man of war, prudent in speech, and a man of good presence, and the Lord is with him. Proverbs 24 verse 10 if you faint in the day of adversity, your strength is small. John 3 verses 16 to 17 For God so loved the world that he gave his only Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but in order that the world might be saved through him.